going live. Okay, we're live. Hello, everybody. Hello, it's Saturday night. <laughs> Saturday night in the house. We're going to have a good time tonight. This is going to be a live video chat show. And if you're uh, watching this at a later time and you want to do the boring parts to get to the fun parts, I invite you to do so. In the meantime, I will be interacting with the chat room because that's how we do it. We chat with each other. And so if you have anything to comment uh, later on, I would love for you to, if you're watching this later, comment below that you watched it and tell me what your favorite part was. Uh, give me some feedback. And I would love to, I would love to, uh, you know, respond to you. So thank you. And next, look who's in the room already. Mina's number one. Hi, Mina. Hi, Sherry's number two. Woohoo! I'll take first place and second place. Yay! <laughs> I clap for you, girls. I'm a clapping for you. There's Candy. Hi, Candy. Hi. <laughs> We're going to have some fun tonight. Are you all ready to do some crafting? Who's going to craft with me tonight? Huh? Anybody going to going to craft along? I'm going to do the roll a, roll an owl game as soon as I find it. If I can find it. I hope I can find it. I hope I put it in the right spot. <laughs> There's the penguin. I don't know where the owl is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me. I'm going to do put them in here. <laughs> I can see if I can find them. I don't know what it did with him. He might be laying around over here. And then again, he might be stuck in a book somewhere. <laughs> All ready for the roll games. Okay, we're going to roll something. I found I found a penguin. If we have to, we'll roll a penguin. Uh, let me look in here. I was online yesterday with Latia. We did a devotion. And it was really pretty. I did a flower. And I enjoyed it. And um, and I'm going to plan on doing a little, some kind of a, a little devotion on Tuesday, on Tuesday stream, next Tuesday. So if anybody has um, a Bible verse or a, a, a devotional quote that you would like to message me in Messenger, messaging me in messenger not here and then maybe i can use that devotion um you know it could be from the old testament or the new testament and i might be able to use that on tuesday night so i've got a lot of good things like you know this was um all about love and and uh, and patience and we talked about love and patience on this this particular devotion page but I would like to have other inputs from you guys because it would just make the evening so much more meaningful to invite to have somebody involved with it with me. It's not all about me. It's about all of us. So I want to include everybody. I don't want to exclude anybody from from a devotional quote page. And um, so. So that's my thoughts on that. So I'm hoping that maybe you all can help me out with that. I'm going to thumb back through a couple of these uh, pages that we've done to see if I can't find Owl. <laughs> we did some really cute pages this week. I'm very, very happy. Dog alert. They have been quiet all day long. And then I get online and here they go barking. They're alive. They're alive. They're alive. So I don't see it stuck in this book. So let me go see where would I have put my owl? <laughs> oh, where oh where? And uh, while we're while we're catching up with everybody, I'm I'm going to clean to the bottom of my table. We do have some happy mail today. And let's see who else has come in. Let's see Mina and Sherry and Candy. And oh, she spins. Hi, Juanita. Hi, honey. I'm glad you're here. And Tammy. Hi, Tammy. So, welcome, everybody. 
so uh, I'm 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 looking at my table, and somebody asked me the other day about this book. They wanted to know my 365 day book I had, and it's reasons for smiling, and it's in thoughts and pictures. And I was going to just demo this. This was given to me by by Colleen Kraps and um, last year. And there are so many cute, cute pictures in here. We can use them in our collage tonight. If you see anything that uh, might you might think that would look good, I, I'll look at it. I'm going to. We are going to do a collage, and I've got some pictures already out. So some of these might just work <laughs> in our collage. So we'll see. We'll keep this out. And I had forgotten I had this book. And I do want to, I do want to use it. <laughs> Look, he's, 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 he's a hungry ham, ham, bologna sandwich. He's a bologna sandwich. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, these just make you giggle and laugh. These are cute, 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 cute pictures in here. But anyway, we will, somebody was asking me about that book. And it seems like there was something else that somebody was asking about. That I I don't remember. So if you have any questions that uh, that you might have asked me and uh, I haven't gotten back to you yet on, this would probably be a good time to ask me uh, while I'm reading chat and hunting for something on my desk. And uh, mm hmm. This would be a good time to ask me. Here's some of these magazines. If I need a magazine. I don't see the owl anywhere near this. I also have this book that somebody gifted me. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, somebody gifted me that book, too. Um, this was done, I think, by Jan Barb. Barb Moore. And... Uh, I have to write it down or I will forget. Isn't that awful? Isn't that awful? And I I think I think it's probably a good thing that I forget stuff because it's gotta be good. Because that means I just have that much wonderful things going on in my life. Hi Connie. Welcome, Connie. Always ready for a role game. Okay. How is everybody tonight? You guys doing okay? Are you cold? Have you all got snow? We don't. <laughs> We've had a beautiful day today. I've been in all day too. I haven't been out much. <laughs> of course, Joe went out. Yeah, and Joe went out. You know Joe went out. <laughs> it's Saturday. He always goes out. <laughs> So I don't see the owl, so but I did find the penguin. So I guess we're gonna roll up cute little penguin tonight. Until I get the owl. And we made the penguin up. We did. We made this penguin up. Um I don't mind doing the penguin. You had snow in the desert earlier in Arizona. Is that in Arizona? I think I saw that on the news. I did. I got to put that in there so I don't lose it. It's just been raining all day with you. I don't know where a tree sent in. Cheryl's, fix, Cher, Cheryl's eating dinner and Teresa's cooking dinner. They'll be in here in a minute. Hi, Nashville. Hi, Nashua, what time is it? What time is it at your house? She lives far, far away. There's Janet. Hi, Janet. I was wondering if you were plum tuckered out today and had to go to bed early. <laughs> I did. I swear. I, I said, well, if she doesn't come in, I know she's in bed. <laughs> One a.m. Okay, Nashville. So Nashville will stay for a little while till she gets sleepy, and so will Janet. So 
So they will, they will, they will hang out a little bit till it, they get tired. <laughs> they will. So thank you guys. And I know I've showed this before, but I wanted to show it again. And I wouldn't mind doing something like this again. This is 3D. It's dimensional. And it's an under the sea theme for felting. And um, and I did this um, before streaming. I did this. I don't have a date on it. Ooh, I'm so bad. No date. This was before I started dating things because I said, oh, I can remember when I did that. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> so I do have a few things pulled out for my reverse collage. I've got some random. There's my random words and some random pictures. And we're going to pick a, a, a page in here in a few minutes for our. This is these are the collage pictures I've picked out for tonight's collage uh, alterations. <laughs> it's an alterations of collaging. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in the very, very back so I won't lose them. Right. Good luck with that. So this I did this yesterday. It was so much fun. Um, um, so it did go very well yesterday, except I had an echo problem. And uh, I forgot how to do yard stream or stream yard or or whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> Those um, recording uh, places that we go to the one with the duck. I remember there's a duck. But anyway, I'm going to work out the kinks. And Latia and I did did stream yesterday and I thought it went really well. I thought there were quite a few girls in the room. I enjoyed that uh, girls and boys. So it was really uh, we had a lot of obstacles to jump. And next time we do that, we're going to do it every two weeks. I'm going to stream with Let Letitia for a little while and help her uh, with her uh, channel. She's wanting to do it. Uh, she Actually, she does stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So, uh, And she's in Facebook at Heavenly Gifted Today. If you all are interested in her and her devotions, uh, that's where you go and find her. So, hi, Sh Sherry. <laughs> I'm going to try to remember call you Sherry with an S. But I like to see. And speaking of, I had a piece of cherry pie today. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry, Cherry, I had a piece of cherry pie. Thought of you. <laughs> Oh, some of y'all doing the scavenger hunt. I didn't do it this year. I have done that before. And I did it in a, a book. I made a book of it. And uh, it was really, it was a lot of fun. That was before I started streaming. I'm going to have to try that again at, at another time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open my happy mail, Janet. I got your happy mail. And uh, then we're going to do a roll of Roll a penguin. And then we'll do the collage. And let's see. I'm looking. I'm looking. I've got a little something. I've got something like I found the lid. And I wonder where the other half is. It's pink. Whatever it is. It's pink. I wonder what I did with it. Oh no! Oh well, it will be the first. And I can, and I've got new ink if it dries out. It's hard to tell where it is now. I don't see it nearby. Okay, I'll come across it. When I do, I'll let you know. Okay, so let me open this. This is pretty. It's this is from Janet Nash, and I get to send her some stamps back. For recycling. Mm-hmm. I'm going to recycle those. Because she spent two ND, two, 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 six NDs. Uh, I don't know what the ND stands for. But they're number twos. So you got six of them. Six twos, two, three twos coming to you back. Anyway, let's open it. 
thank you so much, Janet. I will use um, this envelope. I will save this every scrap, every every sliver of it. I just cut the I cut the most tiny sliver I could cut off of it to get into it. Ooh. Oh, a love note. A love note. And some goodies. Some goodies. Thank you. Oh, look at that. And we found, oh, no, she, she's got me all kinds of little love notes. Okay. Okay. This one says, my dear Beth, a little zine, a little zine for, to flip, to flip. To flip up, sending you across the ocean. Oh, sending love across the ocean. Oh, there's some more, there's some little tidbits in it. So she made me the thinnest zine I've ever seen. Thank you so much. So a zine is a little book that you um that you put together and out of one piece of paper. Okay, it's one piece of paper. You fold it in half, you fold it in half again, and then you fold it in half a third time. And you get this, you get this shape. You get this long, uh, this book page shape. And then you take your zine and you fold it in half and you just cut half only, only to there, only to there is where you cut. And then you take your zine and open it up. And you fold the ends and then you push those two little wings out and then you have a little book. So it's like one, two, three, four pages long and you get to you get to decorate the pages. She put a little bit of gesso on it. Uh Oh, the species they need for pollination. It's a win win relationship to plants to get to reproduce. <laughs> it's a garden magazine. Oh, isn't that sweet? And a piece of lace and the thinnest little, sh that's a shell button, girls. For those of you who don't know, that's a shell button. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's the way they used to make buttons a long time ago. Out of shells. Seashells. So thank you, Janet. Sink in and unwind. I like the back of that. <laughs> and then it says an Australian recipe. Lamb Lamingtons. Wow. I'm going to put this in my Australia stuff for my Australia book. Thank you so much. And then a cross stitch heart. I might have to put that in my little zine. And then it looks like here. Look, dominoes. Oh, I've got a domino art. Uh, box over there in, in the thing. Okay, it says here the first Globe Theater was built in London in night in 1599, where Shakespeare put plays on there. It was stricken on or something on London. They didn't like it, I don't think. By the River Thames. The site was rediscovered in 1989 and the replica constructed in 1997. And you can visit it to this day. This is a theater that uh, back in the day when Shakespeare was alive, he, he did this traveling theater act and he, they traveled. They went from city to city and he was so he was he was like a writer of sh of the shows and they would do a lot of um, uh, happy face, sad face type uh, acting. And the, the and this is the theater and it's in London and they did a replica of it. That is so cool. I'm going to put this in my in my UK book. Thank you so much much and i love that you wrote it on this on this piece of paper i love the dominoes so i'm going to have to put it in as a tip in thank you janet i love this i love this and i i was aware of some of that history so thank you so much so in my little zine there's a rose and here's some more writing so i think i'm going to put my little heart 
right here in my in my um, zine. Thank you so much. So how's everybody doing? Everybody coming in? Some more people coming in? Saying hello to everybody? Hi, Melissa. Melissa, we're going to do a roll a penguin game. So get your papers, paper and markers out. I'm going to use paint. And you can use colored pencils. Hi, Art. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Hi, Art. Out with your heart out, Katie. Trying to remember everybody's names. So thank you so much. This is really, really sweet. I'm going to try to trim this as close as I can to keep my little love note. And I'm going to put it in my zine. Thank you. I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to fill it up with some pretty pictures. Thank you. I'll put this one right here. Thank you. That is really, really sweet. And I think I'm just going to take and put my zine. I need to put it in here. Maybe I'll put it down here. I am. Uh, oh, she sent me back a stamp. Woohoo! Thank you, Janet. <laughs> We're trading stamps. I'll just put that back in my stamps in my address book so I won't lose it. That's where I keep all my money, my the, the good stuff. Put it in there so I won't, so I can use it again. Thank you. So that is, this is going to UK, this is going to Aussie, and this is going right here. So I'm going to glue it down. Thank you so much. I love it. And I'm going to put the date on it. Well, I've got the date here from yesterday, so that will be close enough. I think that's close enough. So, and I just happened to have uh, my UK book right here. So, I'm going to put this in the pocket. I got a pocket right there. And I'll do that Tuesday. And I have a UK uh, collection going. Dog alert. And this is for this is for UK. I'm going to do this in the spring. Uh, I better put from Janet on there. Thank you so much. If anybody has anything, any pictures of Australia that you come across between now and the spring, you can mail them to me and I'll put them in the Australian uh, blue book that we're going to make. I'm going to make an Australian glue book. And this, too, is just so cute. And then it says, give a little love. I don't know. Can I use it? Yes, I can. I can use it. Look, I can use this, too. And we were talking about love yesterday. Love is patient. Love is kind. So this is fitting to go on this art page. Very fitting, I do say. She could be holding it. I'll stick it right there. Gee willikers, isn't that great? I love it. And I'm going to save the stamps so I can return them back to England. It's it's money. And it's not cheating. I'm not cheating. There's nothing wrong with saving a few pennies. A penny saved is a penny earned. Joe gets tickled at me when I talk like that with you guys. Because it's true. It's true. It's silly to throw it away. And it's not my fault. And and they're, they're doing what they have to do to, to get through... Uh, busy times because the post office has been having a hard time lately and they're doing the best they can and uh, if they happen to not stamp the stamps it's not my fault uh, 
they ought to be thankful for all of us <laughs> happy meal people. <laughs> We're keeping them in business. That's the way I think of it. Because <laughs> I pay all my bills online. <laughs> <laughs> don't use it for bills anymore so so i'm going to save this maybe i'll use get to use this when i do my collage tonight so i'm gonna put it with my collage pictures for our reverse collage so now i'm going to i'm going to leave this and i'm going to uh i'm going to look for another page to do our roll of penguin so get your papers out girls we're going to do roll of penguin and i'm going to pick I'm going to pick this ice. <laughs> uh, and I am going to have to take my book and I'm going to have to break my spine and make it fatter because I'm starting to get a fluff, a fluff on my book. And um, it's easy to do, but it is time consuming. I wouldn't mind doing it online with you guys if you all wanted me to show, if anybody is really interested in seeing how I slid a spine. I have to take the cover paper off and um, and I have to actually cut the book in this groove and then I add another piece of cardboard that's twice as wide and I and I, I glue them back together the front and the back and the new back and the new spine I glue it back together usually with a piece of fabric so hi joy Hi everybody coming in. We're getting ready to do roll a ping uh, roll a penguin. So find a page. Well, I opened it up to another page. Here we go. So I'm going to do my mine on here. So I'm going to move my coffee over. Anybody have any questions or anything? Type in capitalized letters so that I can see your uh, print better at a distance. And I don't mind you all saying hello to everybody and chit-chatting. That's fine. Go right ahead. And Joy is cook cooking supper. Go ahead. Cook your supper. You can catch up. We're going to roll the dice. See if I can... I spilt my water yesterday. <laughs> I did. I spilt my water. And it all went on this book. But every bit of it rolled off the end of it into my lap. It rolled right, it rolled this direction and it went straight into my lap. So I was I saved the book. <laughs> it was kind of, it was funny. Anyway. Okay, so here we go. I need to uh, would you like for me to post this at the top of the page? Anybody need this picture? I don't remember if it's still in our Facebook. I think I took it out for some reason. I don't know why. I'll put it back. I'll put it back. Should have known I took it out too soon. Okay, so I will put it back. Let me take a picture. So, um, there is, yep, something on the back, too. Okay, there it is. So I posted this uh, on the on our Facebook page for those of you who want to play along. Who's going to play? Mina's going to play. Mina's playing. Who else is going to play Roll the Penguin with me? And I I think I want to do the same thing. You know, last time we uh, went across the board, and I think it was number. It was number four. I can't remember which ones we've done. <laughs> I think we did four. And it seems to me we did number six, too. 
Oh, good, Connie's playing. Well, thank you, Connie. All right. Okay. Sherry's going to play? Oh, good. Will you guys... Um, and Ma and Eddie, okay. When you guys get yours done, can you post them in our in our in our uh, Facebook group? Will you do that, maybe, so I can see? Okay. Gotcha. I'll take another picture. Let's see if that'll work. So anyway, let's roll. And if we land on something other than uh, four and six, we'll, if we land on another one, we'll go straight across. I thought it worked really well. And it saved a lot of time for me. So here we go. And the number is five. Woohoo! It's number five. We haven't done that one across the board. So I'm going to do it across the board. Number five. Number five. Five alive. So um, the first one is the body, and it's a round body. And it reminds me of a bib. It's round like a bib. But I'm going to make it real big. And then we have this on the back, too. We might have to make something on the back. So I'm going to get a, a little paint palette. And I'm going to get a little bit of, of uh, paint. Thank you, Abby. I need to get some more black out. I've got more. I just have to go down and get it. Have to go down. Oh, here's some more. I got more. It's awful lumpy. Okay. So, where's my toothpaste brush? I'm going to get this brush back out of the glue and clean it up. So, does anybody have anything they can tell me? Tell me some kind of news? Cheryl's got to get back at the table. Okay, Cheryl's here. Yay, we're just in time for Cheryl to get here. So, I'm going to make my penguin standing. He's going to have feet. going to be standing on this piece of ice right here. She's on the lawnmower. And then there's a little bib part. So I can paint. I'm going to paint this all in black. Oh, I hope I could do his head real good. Make him look real, make him look real cute. That's the goal. He's wearing a tuxedo. <clears throat> so, anybody got anything new? 
Candy says, hi, Cheryl. I turned turned to go out, put dinner on the table, but I will take you with me. <laughs> take. She's going to take her turn at the table. Mm-hmm. Because she's fixing dinner, I think. Janet wants to come with you. Janet wants something to eat. Okay. So, um, I think that'll work right there if I don't upset it. I'm going to dry this. And then the next one is the head. And his head's kind of... It's kind of a round heart. <laughs> There's his head. So I'll see what I can do with that. It'll fit right there on top of this one. And then there's his beak. Number five is the number five. There's the head and the beak and the eyes. So the, the beak and the eyes have to go on the head. So uh, we might have to proportion them to the right size. So I'm going to get my brush back out. And the head's going to fit right into this little scoop. I'm drawing a penguin. If uh, Melissa's playing. Oh, the Bible journaling is going to be. Uh, uh, an art picture it's just going to be a collage or some kind of a picture um melissa so the head has a and there's going to be a hat and he has a beanie hat so i gotta make my hat i may i gotta make my hat my head come down as much as i can he's gonna be a short guy The Bible journaling is just going to, it's not really, um, it's not like Sunday school. It's just that I'm going to have some kind of a quote or a verse from the Bible. And if anybody has a, uh, a, a Bible verse, either in the Old Testament or the New Testament, um, Maybe a favorite verse or something. Maybe your favorite Bible verse. Uh, or a, 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 a nice devotional quote. It could be. Um, it doesn't really have to be. Words from the Bible. But it could be. Um, moving spiritually. It could be. It could have something to do with the sunrise. And the sunsets. And the the moon and the stars. It could have some kind of a quote or um, a moving, something that's really meaningful to you. And that would be acceptable. And I will do a journal page on Tuesday. I'll pick one. And if you don't give me one, I will, I'll, I'll have several, to, I have several to pick from. So that's what we're going to do Tuesday. And it's not going to be for the whole uh, Tuesday. We're going to do Tuesdays. We're still going to do our mandalas. We're going to do uh, doodles and mandalas. And we're going to be working in the UK book, blue book. And then I will do a devotion, some kind of a, a journal page for you. And you'll see. You'll just have to come and see. See how I do it. And let's see. What else? Anybody else? So the next one I have here is uh, the beak and the eyes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and paint white. <laughs> you have a lot. Well, give me. Give me one of your, the first one, the first favorite one you come across. Message it to me, Melissa. <laughs> Give me the first favorite one that you come across. And then 
And then I might do a second one later. But right now I just need one. One Bible verse that you like. the be That is just really, really good. And I will do a Bible. Or I will do a little journal page regarding it if I can. I, I mean, I, 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 you know, I'm pretty, uh, you know, my mind, you, you all know how I can come up with stuff, right? You know what I'm trying to tell you? When I, when I, uh, I get, you tell me something, then I always come up with something to go with it. I'm kind of artsy in that way i'm gifted to, to think of things or sub find a, something to substitute in in uh in that category you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so this white is been watered down let's try this white i think this one's thicker But I think it's fun. Uh, I think it's fun. The challenge to have for me to have that challenge is, is what I like to have. I, it's what I like to do. I like the challenge. So I think I'm going to have to put another coat. A second coat on that. How's that look? For starters, I can still put another coat on it. So, everybody's still saying hi to everybody. That's good. <clears throat> so, um, do you all uh, have any uh, thoughts about the arts and crafts that I do? Do you all, uh, is there something that, that you're tired of? Or do you like everything, the variety that I do on my show? Uh, I'm, I've always been curious. I need some feedback. There's a little bit of something for everybody, right? I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. So I'm going to hold off on my beak and my eyes. And I'm going to move on to my hat. And he's got a beanie, a beanie hat. Janet loves everything that I do. Okay. That's good to hear. Love the variety. Love the variety. Okay. Good. Good. Hi, Nancy. Nancy's waving. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Nancy's waving to everybody. Okay. Good. All right. I just want to, you know, sometimes I wonder, am I doing the right thing? <laughs> I, I, I doubt myself sometimes and I shouldn't I should never doubt myself should never doubt <laughs> so I'm going to try to draw a beanie cap and I'm going to try to use some maybe some here's purple pansies I'm going to try purple and start off with purple and see if I can't make a cute beanie hat Oh, Nora. Nora's a barking. I think I know Joe's out there. So anyway, I'm going to I'm going to make it kind of short and I'm going to put it on his head. So it's going to be a big hat. So this is going to be his his bill. The bill, the duck bill of the hat.
and then they don't even have a bill on the picture <laughs> so I'm going to make a bill he's getting a bill and then I got to make his uh, twirly twirly whirly bird whirly jigs Whirly jigs. He gets whirly jigs. Nora. Okay, there's his hat. I, I'm going to have to outline it in a, a lighter shade of something to uh, get it to pop out on top of his head. So you can see it. So I might have to use some white on it maybe later. Okay. Hi, Joycey. She's here, but not talking. Okay. She's a watching. Watching the balcony. Make sure they're make sure they're not throwing popcorn. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on balcony patrol. <laughs> Happy and healthy. Joyce, did you get any cold weather this week? I don't know what part of Washington State you're in, uh, but they had some snow, I think. Here comes Joe. Okay, Cheryl's painting. All righty. Oh, Katie says, I enjoy the variety, but I'm listening while I'm rearranging my art studio. Good girl. Not sure why I started this, but there's no turning back now. Honey, do it. That's all I can tell you, because I wish I was doing it to mine. <laughs> Cleaning it up in here. Hi, Cho. I wish she was, too. You can, you can barely walk through. I'm telling you. There's a path now, though. Well, just to my chair. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a hoarder. <gasps> oh, <gasps> oh, no. Who's listening? <laughs> There's oh, 34. 34 oh. of y'all heard that. <laughs> you should have said that on a low night. Mm. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> Nettie says hi, Joe. Hi, Nettie. Hi, babe. <laughs> She, Joyce is in Washington State, and she says it's just wet and some wind. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, Candy, Candace, and gave us the weather report out there. Well, give us the give me give Joe the weather report Joyce. where you live. Put the state and what the weather is like in your state right now. That would be great. Joe would love to hear that. Oh, what was that? The weather report where they live. Oh, who and and uh, they're going to put the state okay. that they're in and tell you the weather report on on the right thing? here, right now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Connie says I can't. Fin okay, finish my penguin. Going to the daughters for movie night. Okay, Hi, Connie. Connie. Thank you, Connie. Have fun with the girls. What are y'all going to go see? <laughs> Mina says she's in Arizona. It's sunny but chilly. Hey, Nina. Mina. That's great. That's great. Arizona. Joyce says if you go east, the border areas have snow in Washington. That's what I saw on the weather. Yeah. In the mountains. In the in the, yeah, Colorado, the, the north the, uh, Alaskan areas. Gotcha. We used to go to Colorado and go skiing when my girls were really young and uh they picked skiing up really 
really well. And actually, I could ski pretty pretty good myself. Um, but uh, we haven't been back to Colorado in a long time. Well, the girls have. They went skiing right before... Right before Alicia, they went skiing that winter back. Yeah. And I thought they went to uh, Jackson Hole. They might have. Yeah, it's a beautiful country up there, especially when the when the mountains have got the green and red flowers <clears throat> growing on them. Up there, um, beautiful place, beautiful place. 28, feels like it's 21. Woo, candy. Candy. That's cold. I don't care where you're from. Whew. Well, I had to quit because my my motor or my motorcycle, my lawnmower uh, is too dark to cut grass with the New lawnmower. New Jersey. Janet says it's thirty. Feels like twenty. Wow. <laughs> Hi, Janice. How are you doing? Glad to see you gar girls again. See everybody up and. Saying hey. Give Pretty plenty of snow in the mountains of Colorado. Oh yeah. Janice says hi Joe. Hi Janice. Howdy howdy. Yep. Colorado's a beautiful place. We went to, uh, we were coming back, uh, just doing a little turn around and everything. We went over crow through the mountains and went to uh, Glendale Springs, where the hot springs are, over uh, Glendale, where all the past presidents have been. And uh, that was an awesome place. I think Doc Holliday was buried on one of the hills out there, and um, they had a little cemetery place for him so i wish i guess that the wild wild west colorado they all ended up in uh the neighboring towns and cities in the that's where they lived yep it's a cool place did you get to visit an old western town no, no, we didn't do that. We just went right. It was it was in a winter in the winter time. So they they had a extremely great skiing facility. We went to um, oh my gosh um, the big mountain up there. Went through there, and there's a passage that goes through by uh, the Jackson Hole, and one one name one of the big mountains out there. Ski mountains, ski. Remember any of them? I've never been out there. Hi, Tammy. Tammy says 46, 46. here. Hey. Feels like 39. Been Feels raining like all day in Missouri. Missouri, Missouri. I don't know anything about Missouri. Never been there. That's for sure. I put um, gesso on his chest to give it texture. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a fluffy chest. Is that a penguin? <clears throat> it is. Well, that looks like a good fluffy chest to me. <laughs> uh, you, you just got to find a good, <clears throat> a good uh, uh, emblem to put on that hat. Is it going to be a S F or a? It's going to be a beanie hat. A beanie hat. <laughs> and I accidentally put a bill on it, like that hat. Oh, that's cool. But it's going to have a twirly top. Oh, you're going to put a twirly top on it. Yeah, whirly dig gigs on top. Yeah. But it could keep him cool. KC on the hat. KZ. Yeah. Is that for the band? The band. <laughs> Beth don't know what's going on in this world. Girls. Kansas City, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Kansas City. Chiefs. <laughs> the Chiefs. What colors are the Chiefs? Red. <laughs> well, he's got a purple hat on. 
uh, that'd be more like the uh, uh, the team that didn't make it there. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Don't tell me it's so. Don't tell yeah, me. Well, it's not. It's not that team. But uh, don't say it. We like both of them. We like Brady and we like Malone. L Malone's gonna be hard to beat. That's all I can say. And Brady's really too good to lose. How about that? <laughs> yeah, I like both of them, really. You can't lose when you when you bid on both of them. You gotta win and win in hand. Yeah, Beth and I, we talked about maybe going out in the um, taking the, the train out in the wild, wild west and going through um, the old Denver and 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 uh, Laramie. Laramie, where they did the movies and stuff and some of those little towns, if they're still there. And yeah, I'm sure there's a, a, a train that does that. And uh, I think that would be cool for a vacation. They have these train rides where <clears throat> the train is constantly going or and they stop at they stop at different cities along the way for like a few hours and they let you go out and walk around the town. And then you come back, get back on the train and it takes off again and you're going all the way west, like the Oregon Trail or yeah, something. Yeah, I'd be scared though. I'd, I'd be scared somebody come up with a, in a horse with the four or five of them and want to rob the train still. <laughs> yeah. No, not really. Just teasing. But um, I don't think they'd stop for a train like that anymore. <laughs> nope. Train would run over them. Train ran over them. We watch that on, uh, there's some train rides out west and, and out up north on uh, YouTube. And they are beautiful. I mean, they're they're going through the snow and stuff like that. And they're up to dates on YouTube. And, you, uh, can, you can go on YouTube and type in train rides. Yeah. And you can get a virtual train ride. They put the cameras on the front of the trains or up there where the conductor sits. And you're watching the train go down the track. And they have the snow plows and and they they have uh, in Sweden, they have uh, they run every day for like people who travel and want to go from city to city to work like the subway or something. And people get these passes and they ride the train to the next city and back and then get come back home again at night. They can go back and forth like that. They they uh, run them like buses. And the and they run the, the and you can see the Alps and the mountains and it's oh, beautiful yeah. it's beautiful but they're virtual train rides it's just and like he was riding right and in. you can also do virtual roller coaster rides <laughs> on YouTube just type it in virtual rides and some of the cameras are live you can get live cameras that are current that I mean they're like up at the the time of the day. Heavy okay. snow and expected it for Virginia, huh? Little sister. Yep, she's going to get some snow. I know uh, Roanoke's going to get it too because I have a brother in Roanoke and it's going to go right over to Cheryl's. I saw that just a little bit ago. Well, hi, Connie. How are you doing? I, had, I hadn't said hi to you. you uh, I think you went somewhere and then came back, right? Yeah, she's been cooking. Cooking. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go in there and get a pizza going or something. Yeah, we got pizza in the freezer. <laughs> Nanny already posted her picture. Okay. Oh I'll, go, I'll go look in a minute. Let me get um, Mama son. the beak. She's, she's get, she's, she ain't wasting time. She's got something to do later, I bet. Important. I'm lollygagging here. Yeah, you're, you're sitting here talking about having a camera on the front end of a train but it's kind of cool though yeah 
Yeah, I was working on my on my back fence. Uh, I, I I got that. Uh, Houdini, got some, I got Houdini's some, been back there. Yeah, I got some real wonderful uh, neighbors in the back back there. We share the kind of share the fence, and uh, actually that fence there is theirs. But the fence line. The fence line, and I just got to keep it up running because my dog crawls under it and digs out, and I, she she's got. I don't know, man. She is something else. I never had a dog that bad. And she knows she's, you know, she's smart. It's not like she's dumb. Because she likes she likes to go out the back door. And what the deal is, she's, <laughs> she's, she's trained me and Beth. When she wants to come in. She's it has to be on her curve. Yeah, it has to be when she's ready to come in. She's and, worse than a cat. Oh, no. Yeah, she is worse than a cat. You're right. Cats stay out there. She she will scratch at the door when she wants to come in. Not really come in to let you know that she's at the door. She doesn't really want to come in. She just scratches at it. Because if you open the door, she takes off running. Well, if you open the door before she scratches, she'll go na 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 boo boo and she takes off running. <laughs> yeah, she takes off running. And then it makes me so mad. Then I just let her stay out there for about an well, hour. Well, what we were doing in the beginning, we were cracking the door and letting her, because she will push the door open. And so we were letting her push the door open. And, and that's when she would play the cat and mouse game. So, I started shutting the door and not letting her push it open. In other words, she has to scratch to want to come in. And usually when she sits out there long enough, it gets chilly enough and she'll want to come in. And uh, But if you open the door before she scratches, she plays the little game. And it's just a game. It's nothing bad. <laughs> well, the doghouse is built, Janet. <laughs> but I don't know what's left to do on the doghouse. Well, well. <laughs> The doghouse is built, and and uh, uh, I haven't put no windows in it, which I'm not. I'm gonna put some little screens in it. Uh, but uh, the thing of it is, the, the doghouse was just something for them to go out and and have to the you know, for they can be by themselves <coughs> and play and 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 because they love they love being out in the backyard. I mean. That, it's a big backyard, and I figured, well, if they got a little, if they got a doghouse out there, they might get in it and play in it, and da da da, you know. But um, they they have a lot of other activities out in the yard, um, and so you know the the doghouse really hasn't been a, a big thing on their mind. Matter of fact, Abby uh, doesn't really want to get it go in it at all because I've thrown all of her toys in there thinking that if i put all the toys in there and stuff they get in the you know and start playing well you know i mean it is big it's uh it's like six foot by six foot and uh it weighs about 800 pounds it's a huge thing uh building it's a condominium <laughs> yeah it's got it's got uh, two uh, two doors one in one on one side, one on the other side, and um, then it's got two windows on the other two sides. And uh, you know, they're smaller windows because I don't want them jumping out the window because I Nora, Nora would probably try that, you know, just to see if she could fit through the hole because she likes to go through places. And what the her, 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 she gets going so fast and her weight. She's like a freight train. If the if the hoe is weak, she'll make it go get bigger for her to fit. Well, how did she get out the back fence? Okay, um, she she got over. There's one side of the fence. It's that's uh, all three people, you know, have. And it's a corner. She went through the an old section and um, went out and found a new way to get out and uh that i hadn't fixed well no, i didn't know it was there uh, and this other there's some wooden fence that's fell down that um 
belongs to somebody else and it had a little hole at the bottom in the corner well i seen her when she went through it she hit that thing like a squealed pig on a in a grease greased hole man she just and uh so she now, dives through yeah she, she she just hits it. yeah she's she like dives a, like a football player she's like a she'll be like that football player playing this weekend or next weekend hi nora hi nora but, uh, she's right here she uh you know I'll, we're talking about I'll you throw oranges and she'll chase them and stuff like that you know i got a bunch of oranges that are really not uh suitable to eat and uh because the season's kind of over with and they'll be sprouting them back new ones but uh some of them are still good some of them are not I mean, the lady behind me in that one house uh she's got uh had two trees two nice big trees they were 20 foot tall and 20 foot round and they uh they produced the oranges that were sour they, they taste awful and, and they they're too they're too sour to eat i mean you could but her orange. tree is full it's yeah it's sitting sitting there right now just plumb full there's probably if there ain't a hundred on in that tree uh, there's been a hundred at least. It's pretty out, to watch to yeah. look at. And, uh, okay, got the shoes, got the bow tie. I need to put the eyes. What kind of eyes we got here? Yeah. So moving right along, I do have to do his twirly twirlies. His twir twirly whirly birds. Whirly birds. Miss Mary Berry, how are you, Miss Mary Berry? Yeah, they're they're. Uh, oh, they sell the the oranges and make high in the high end cafes. Wow. Um, I can't. Have you ever tasted it? What does it taste like? What does the ones you've uh that are um sour oranges that you have had or what what does the taste taste like <laughs> Delta. oh wow i'll tell you what my uh i've got the, the oranges that come on the tree that we have now that is producing is um navel oranges and this is no lie. We've got a good tree. Yeah. This orange that I got off of it, you know how big a big softball is? Yep. Well, it's bigger than a baseball. Yeah, it's bigger than a baseball. It's a softball. Okay, I got the feet and the wings and the tie, the eyes, the beak, the head, and the face. I just need to put the twirly birds on up there. And I'm done with my penguin. Huh. Reminds her of. Uh, of the Chinese citrus fruit. Oh, Nettie's going to go lay down. Okay, okay, honey. I think she posted her picture. Let me put. Let yeah. me go look at her picture. Let's look at it. Well, I gave you a kudos, Nettie. Oh, for, for being oh, the she first did an person. igloo. Oh, we haven't done the igloo on the back. Is that the igloo? It is. It's an igloo on the back. I forgot about the back. Good oh, job, cool. Nettie. Oh, good job. Yeah, you did good. So I get to make an igloo over here on the other side. <laughs> I got to make a big, fat, round opening for him to go in. It. He's going to have to lose some weight. He's a big one. <laughs> going to have a big, a big a round igloo. <laughs> mm. Okay. So let me uh, put these twirly things on. And I think I'm just going to do it in in white. Well, my neighbor Janice, my neighbor next door's got uh, uh, the lemons, and I can go over there and get the lemons off of his lemon tree whenever they come in season too. And they're they're usually pretty good to make lemonade. 
but I, I'm not uh, real sure about the squeezing those those oranges that are sour, or I could go over and get some, and she wouldn't care. She's a great, great neighbor. But they, they, they make you pucker. I mean, I don't, that's what I thought they were, because she told me, she says, well, they're, they're sour, and I said, well, maybe it's a, a, somebody did a graphing on the trees a long time ago, and it, with a, a lemon, because we have one on the side of our house. We still have that tree. Yeah, it's 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 not as big as it used to be, but um, and it would produce only on like half of it was lemon and yeah. half of it was lime. Yeah, and uh, it only it only produced about three years, and then it kind of died down. Okay, there's his twirly. Miss Mary Berry, Joe. It's the tea from oh yeah the mandolin. Mandalay uh, grape or uh, jelly. Marmalade. Marmalade. Tart nature lunches. Okay, wow. now what's the difference? Now I know there's jelly and there's jam. Now what's the difference between the marmalade? The jam has the fruit in it. The jelly is with strained. So what is the marmalade have that's different? Could put an igloo on there. So I've done the face, the body, the beak, the eyes, the hat, and the tie, yeah. bow tie, the yeah. feet and hands. Huh? Yeah, I know. I and then I get to do an igloo. So, okay. Let me do the igloo. Well, there's a couple more I haven't said hi to. And hi, Janet, Nash, how are you? I'm, I didn't even see your name. I know you. I know you're. She's in there. bed. She's in bed. Oh, she is. Okay, that's right. I love oranges, navel oranges. I do too. But then I ate that big one. Man, it was as big as a softball. And uh, I, I like the way I do it. Is I take the Lay it down, cut one end, cut the other end off about half inch, a quarter of an inch, because the skins are so thick. And then take my knife and just make me some, uh, like a pumpkin cuts, like a, uh, that are on a pumpkin all the way around it, and then peel, peel it off. And, man, I love that. It's not a jelly or a jam. Uh huh, Miss Mary Berry. Says. Okay, so <laughs> Marvelay has a fruit peeled in it. Oh, I see. Candy, uh -huh. candy peeled. My mom used to take um, oranges and grapefruit peels and slice them in little sticks, little tiny sticks, and she would boil them in in sugar, and then after they got real soft. Then she would lay them and roll them in sugar and then lay them all on a, on a plate to dry hard. And they were like candy. Uh -huh. She used to make that at Christmas time all the time. Well, you missed it. Mama son says she has got her as a belly button. Oh. <laughs> Bing. That's cute. That is so cute. See, that's, that's what I love about you ladies are all, you know, on the same page about it's, it's doing what you like to do and having fun and making it your own little design. Our own little world. We're in our yeah. own little world. Yeah. Ooh, orange, uh, Mary Berry says she made homemade orange candy. Wow, I bet that is great. I bet that does taste good. Everything. Janice said that uh, it's very English thing. Beth, it's Candice Peel. Can dried. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I used to take and make um, 
like if uh, some fruits you can uh, put it in the oven and make candy out of it. You made a painting about it. Can you post the painting on our on my channel? I would love to see it. Yeah. Uh, we used to have a lady that was at our church when we uh, first started coming down here years ago, and and uh, she made uh, more like with uh, oranges from actually her her uh, her, her great nephew now is is got the house, and uh, it used to be the house for the church that uh, they did the office out of, and. Um, he put in front, and this is not a big property, big piece of property. It's only like 150 by maybe 150. And he put 19 palm trees in the front yard that were over. They're, they're <laughs> Way every, too many. Yeah, <laughs> Way too many. They're every six For foot. his little lot. He had a little tiny lot. Yeah. They had six foot, and it looks like a like a jungle now from the road because you see all you can see is the, the they're starting to get big. They're probably twenty foot now, and, and there's probably not even thirty feet on each side of his house, at each side yeah. of the house. It's, that's how small the lot is. Yeah, there's. Well, he's got he's got probably no, well, he's probably got about twenty feet on one side, and probably thirty five foot on the other. Yeah, that's about right. Just enough for a driveway and. A, Two cars, but uh, and he is a he's a he is a streamless on plants and stuff. The first year he had all those uh, palm trees put in. They come in, put them in six foot apart, and uh, they might be I might they they might be eight foot apart. And uh, so hi Susan. Um, and she had all the all the, the the fruit tree on her property that she made all the jellies from. And we always would go over there and get get that jelly, wouldn't we? Yeah, the his aunt. His aunt. Uh, when she lived there, and that was she the, gave. She went to our church and she'd make jelly for everybody. She says, "If you buy me some sugar, I'll make you some jelly." Yeah, she was really sweet. And, and she. Her, and when the other one, it was um what was that her name um, aunt may aunt, aunt aunt somebody may i think it was may or something I can't remember her name. and she but she she always gave my dad marmalade yeah he loved it yeah. okay now let me see here i'm almost Susan done Ernest. working on my working on my igloo over here and Nettie said Your she put a belly breakfast. button on. I got to see this. Also, uh, <gasps> she did. She got a little belly button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what it, I tell you what. Uh, let's see. Not tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to go over it tomorrow or not. But I will take a picture of it, girls, and bring it and uh, and show you the next next time. Best on. Cause it is. I'm gonna make them with a. It's unbelievable. A tux. Uh, he got a good buy on him. He had a tractor trailer come and they with a backhoe and they put them all in the ground. I mean, they were huge, that big. I mean, uh, they were at least uh, of over a little bit over a foot in circumference on the on the trunks. And, well, he uh, took half of them back out, didn't he? No, 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 no. I thought he'd take some of them back out. He left out. them all in, and the only place you can get in his backyard is through the middle of those. Oh, gosh. You know, because it's Squeeze through. Hi, Susan. Yep. And uh, Sherry, how are you doing? Hope everything's going good for everyone that's, that is having some chilly weather 
my mom oh my gosh she's a uh, she's in kentucky and uh <laughs> she doesn't know how a thermostat works <laughs> she says i've phrased it up and i've put it down i can't get it to keep a temperature in the house standard you know and i said well leave it alone it'll work on its own unless it's broke and if you keep messing with it, it will be broke Hi, Melissa. Melissa Smith. Yes. Well, I think it, 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 and I bet you a nickel, this is what happens. You know, it warms up so nice during the day. Yeah. And instead of leaving it on 70, she turns it off. <laughs> so the house gets too cold mm -hmm. and then she's got to crank it up to get it back warm again. And I think yeah. that's probably what she does to try to save on, on her bill. Yeah, she don't, you know. You know, she's, and I, I, she and they have, have a window open in the basement, so that also is another culprit. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, she's not like she's got any. Her daughter's in the basement, and she, I, I think they leave a window open because they smoke down there. Okay, finishing up. Yeah, supposed to set it and forget it. But we do our, we touch ours, we bump it up one or two or knock it down one or two. Hi, Tammy Wolf, how are you? And then we have a ceiling, a, a fan in the attic, and if it's real hot down and down here, we'll turn that fan on, and it help it help cools the temperature down. Yeah. So that's a good thing. But we, we're always touching it in the But we always have a fan. Winter. We got a fan in the bedroom that's, that's uh, a we, big fan. And we got a ceiling fan. Ceiling fan yeah. And then we have a little space heater on those chilly nights. And it, and it does fine for our room. Oh, man. There was a really nice. And I sh should have bought it today. It was a. Uh, filter, a home filter. Uh, let's see what kind it was. I can't remember what kind it was. Anyway, this lady bought it, and it was it was on sale, seventy five percent off. Yeah. So she ended up giving seven dollars for it, and it was like r really in good shape, and it worked and everything. But I thought I thought about mom. I said, my gosh, mom would have loved to have that. That would have she could have put that in her room where she's at and let it. Just let it run. Mm -hmm. Was a it wasn't really a full house filter, but it was a, a nice, nice size. You know, it's about three foot tall and eight inches around, and it was. A, I think the quality of it might have been pretty good too. But you just you know. Well, okay. So, what are you going to build? What's this? Is this a doorway? It's an igloo. Don't you know how to make an igloo? Well, I sure do. I was going to tell the girls when I when I was younger how how me and my nap, me and my cousins all made igloos. You remember, girls, when it <laughs> back in the let's just say sixties, fifties, and sixties, milk come in square paper milk jugs that's what we did and they were and they were square cardboard they, they were, were cardboard yeah they were cardboard with plastic uh, some kind of a plastic coating on plastic them. coating inside and i was at my grandmother's house and we were all outside playing and it's like snow we didn't get that much snow back then and but when we did we got it it came down it, it, yeah there were times yeah yep. so we we had four or five of them boxes that gra my grandma had been saving that was milk jugs you either had milk jugs in glass or you had the square bottles in a gallon uh in the paper so she cut all the tops of them off and you flip that over no you could you could open, open them up the top. yeah you yeah, opened them up the, they'd open on both sides like well anyway we we took and made 
I don't know how many of those cubes of snow and, and packed them down real hard. And then the next morning they turned to ice because it was so, it was cold out there. And uh, I, I think I was probably about, I don't know, seven or eight years old, maybe nine. And uh, we made an igloo that was so tough. It was made with, that's about a six foot, a uh, six inch by six inch container. And so it was six inches thick when we went around and stacked them. And then we stacked them again and kept stacking them and just like bricks or blocks. And it was, it was uh, one of the best big blues I ever had. Yeah, I'd say it would, ne it didn't melt it, till yeah, way it, into it was, the spring. Oh yeah. Ours wouldn't melt. Yeah. It was so, it, cause it turned, it would turn to ice two or three times the rain and once and it, it was big it, enough for three or four kids to get inside. Oh yeah. Ours was. Yeah. Ours, ours is like a small swimming pool. You know, about 10 foot round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then my brother, he would, he'd go ahead and make up some snowballs, pour the water on them, make them kind of hard. <laughs> uh-huh. That hurt. That was not fair. He was being a bad boy. Throwing uh, icy snowballs. Miss Maryberry, she, uh, this lady at the Habitat bought a, uh, I don't know, it was like a small in-house in uh, filter that had a little a blower on it. And it, it had a, a, a filter went in the front. Hi, Liz. And, Lizzie's uh, here. Hi, Lizzie. When I was a child, we lived in Esco, Missouri, is M I N N, Missouri. No, Minnesota. Minnesota. Our school was Echo High School, and we were the Echo, Echo Eskimos. Eskimos. <laughs> Echo Eskimos. Every year That's we cool. built huge igloos in front of the school. Oh, how fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Lizzie. How have you been? You've been doing okay? Yeah, I hope you have. I've been busy. I'm busy painting, as you can see. I'm not a, a painter, but I'm a crafter. So I can make shift something. There's Sherry. Sherry's here. Okay. Yeah. That's Sherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's been here. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. Been, been sewing. Okay. So there's my little igloo. I'll make some more snow. Maybe uh, a little snow path. Little tracks. Yeah, I can make penguin tracks. Oh my gosh. Why did I say that? In the snow. <laughs> Better be careful. You're going to fall through the ice. But you float. He swims. He swims in ice water. <laughs> well, he does. He swims in the ice water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Candace, how you been doing? I hope you're in an area where it's not too cold also because I know a lot of people are this winter storm is coming through up north and uh, really putting a damper on a lot of situations. It's not uh, it's not helping anything out at all. I know that. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, it was a courtyard. We had a courtyard that all the kids played in, and it was a safe place. Uh, and we're the good old days. My grandma, she she had oh, ten kids or ten kids, 
during her span and um, see there was uh, bunches of cousins and bunches of aunts and uncles And I tell you what, one thing about my grandma, she, uh, I remember I was her favorite because I was one of the younger kids that got to stay home and, and she, she watched me while I was, uh, about while my mom and dad both worked and, uh, she put me, she, the, uh, yeah, I wanted to know how come, what happened to all the rest of the grandkids? How come she didn't take care of them? Well, they didn't live with, with live with grandma we live with grandma because mom and dad were trying to uh work and i guess save to buy a house yep and i remember the, everything about back in the in them days i don't remember lots my dad was a, a ball player softball player and uh he played softball for over 40 years and they nominate him in the hall of fame in Kentucky, uh, ASA hall of fame, softball hall of fame. And, uh, he was the dandy. My mom still talks about him. <laughs> well, sure she does. Oh. And she, yeah, she says he was your he he was grandma's apple, but he's anything she wanted done, he'd do it. He built her a fence, and she thought that fence was the, the China Wall. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Oh, there's in fit, fit prints. Anything else? Do I need to put anything else on there, guys? Uh, uh, not sure. You can put a little, little color on her feet, show where where he made the prints. Just a little shady. Yeah. Who? Okay. What, what do, uh, I guess they eat fish, don't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. They sure do. Well, you could put a billy bass over top of the door. <laughs> put a fish over the door. <laughs> is that, is, you ladies know what. He sure is. Know what billy bass is? Billy bass is that, that bass on the, the wall hanger, and you push the red button, and it goes, it sings that song, that fish that sings a rubber fish. Rolling down the river. Rolling down the river. Billy Bass. I think it's Billy Bass. And it's a fish, and then it turns out, and it's a, it's it's a toy. It it's it's motion sensitive. Yeah, it's motion sensitive. You still have one, Susan? Do you? <laughs> the singing fish. Yes, yes, I got. Mine's outside in my in my building. He's got one. Yeah. At, he, at home, he had it uh, right in front of the garage door, and oh. if anybody walked into the garage, he knew it. It yeah, was so funny. It's, it's, it's a, it was kind of like a, yeah, it was. It's like a, it's like and we a, could hear it upstairs. Alarm. So if it went off, then we knew somebody was down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it, it don't do too good to have a have one of them if you if you got a cat, because that cat get close to it and it go off. It, going on the river. I need to put me a battery in it because it's uh it's. It's it, uh, down here at the back home. It would get cold and it wouldn't work very well. But now down here, it stays fairly, fairly warm. And it's, uh, <laughs> I can't remember what, how you, how's that, how's that song go? 
Rolling on the river. Was it rolling on the river or something else? I can't remember. It's a real popular song. Yeah. Cute. Real cute. My dad loved it. He got it for Christmas one day, one year. And, uh, yeah, he loved the fish too. Oh my gosh. I got pictures of, of, uh, when I was about six, six years old, we would go fishing. I remember this is, this is crazy. Um, no, I think it was different than rolling down the river, but I can't remember what it was. It wasn't that one. I can go out there and get him. And his, I don't think his real name is really Billy Bass. Yeah, I do. I, I do, it? too. Yeah, I do think it is. Okay. Um, but I remember we went out to, uh, in Kentucky, we went uh, the Ohio River. And uh, we went out to the buoys in the middle of the river on back then in the 60s on uh, just inner tubes and i and in the 60s i, I was not even uh, 10 years old okay i got a fish up there yep oh, there he is <laughs> where'd she go to Miss Mary Berry, you want me to go get him and see if I can get him wait, fired up? Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, they want you to do that. Uh, sure. I'll do it for you, honey. Uh, Billy Bass. Is it Billy Bass? Big Mouth. Let's see. Big Mouth Billy Bass singing. Is that it? Now, let me go to my videos. <laughs> okay. Yep. Don't worry. Be happy. That's it. Ooh. Yep, buddy. Mina says she loves those tri <laughs> spoon going tracks. I thought they were a, a good taste too, Mina. Mina. They just kind of That penguin looks like it's excited. It's got its hands up. It's either excited or being robbed. Wouldn't you think so, girls? Billy Bass. Yes. Ask Samuel O. Jackson the forecast. Got, got it hooked up to Siri. No, 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 no. We're not going there. Well, he said bad word. I'm sorry. That's enough. Okay. All right. Rabbit trail. Fish fish trail. <laughs> okay. I'm done with our I'm done with our Teresa. guy. Teresa's on. Hi Teresa. How are you doing? Hi Teresa. Go, Joey, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway, we are talking about fish. I've got a picture of myself and my father. My father was only about five foot six. It was five foot six. Let's see, five foot six, yeah. And at at his tallest height in his life. And um, but he was a big fisherman, like I said. He was born and raised on the river. They had a camp down on the river and uh right there in Louisville, Kentucky, and right across the street from it was the locks. And his father his father had the uh rights um uh, to be uh it was like um some kind of a, a thing that he had the rights that he could camp on the river on the sand uh, sand uh, islands and stuff um uh, because at one time somebody in the family owned uh, a piece of that property so anyway he he would take and uh go fishing and they would back then they catch these things called spoonbills, which if you looked at a spoonbill fish, they're about three to four foot tall and long. And they had a flat bill on the front. And I remember them because dad, that's the fish that they always caught. I don't remember eating them, thank heavens, because from what I understand, they had they were really oily. Um 
but uh, the spoonbill, and it didn't have any teeth. Uh, but now I think they got teeth. <laughs> so the times have changed. But I, he, he, we were at the, at a stop sign in front of the the apartment where we lived at the time, and I, we were holding the spoonbill fish up, and it was taller than me. Uh, of course, like I said, I was probably 10 or 11, maybe. Yeah, spoonbill fish. You remember that, Miss Mary Berry? Bass is your favorite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, uh, and I don't know how we got on all this fishing stuff, but last night we were watching the monster fish guy, and he, he, uh, he was down in Argentina and down in the other countries. He was in South Africa. In South Africa, trying to find out what this big fish was doing in some of these small lands of water. Okay, let's get back to uh, drawing penguins. All right, all right. How's a penguin go? I ain't never heard of penguin. How about it? Oh, that's that yeah. Batman's penguin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I just hope you ladies are having a good time tonight because I sure enjoy uh, talking to you. I'm a little crazy, but uh, you know, that's because I live with Beth. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true that's not true monster not, fish guy yeah, yeah monster yeah. quest yeah 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 monster rivers oh my gosh i know there's there's some of those uh the girls down in georgia they uh they go noodling for catfish and so those catfish will take you under and keep you that's like the the ladies down there in uh, what was that uh, last night? The like one lady was telling about this mermaid that was half fish and half a uh, person, and it would uh, it, it it just uh, memorize memorize your your uh, your thoughts and stuff, and get you to come into the water, and then. They, just like she used to do the, they, the the old saying about the fish out to the guys that were out to sea in the wars and stuff and uh, the pirates and stuff. They, they come up there and try to get them to come in the water and then a bunch of them get them. I don't believe that. Now, Joe. But it would be nice to see a pretty mermaid. I just, Hannah, what's her name? Hannah. Oh, Casey, Casey. <laughs> okay. Um, I signed it, so I'm done. I got to dry it before we, so we can do our collage. We're going to do our collage. Okay, I'm gonna uh, altered that. collage. I'm changing the name of it. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Teresa, you rest. Don't don't strain your eyes. Yeah. If you have aching eyes, sometimes that's uh she has eyes issues eye with her issues. eyes, and she also yeah. has migraines. Yeah. But she's been going to the eye doctors. Is it her high, she had high blood pressure? Yeah. Don't know. I hope she feels better. I hope you get better, honey. <laughs> That's the jolliest looking. <laughs> It's a happy face a that's happy. crying, that's laughing. Yeah, it's a happy penguin. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my
Is that a guy penguin or a girl penguin? It's a guy penguin. A guy? It's a boy. Okay, it's a boy. So he's got a white hairy chest. That's his best. Oh, it's best. Oh, okay. That's good. He needs a fishing rod. Oh my gosh, he needs a fishing rod. That's cute. <laughs> Round little fish. Like sunfish. Yeah. Fish trail. He's got a little. That's his. <laughs> you know what a penguin does to a little fish? <laughs> He brings, He's a little opera singer. Yeah, oh, he, should he be singing? Okay, he can sing. He might be singing. He could sing in a tux. Yeah. yeah, he could sing. Let's see here. Yeah, he could be singing. Oh, take me fishing. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. be happy. Yeah, he could be singing. Don't worry, be happy. Is that an F flat or sharp? <laughs> I don't know. I don't either. It could be. I know there's somebody out there. Hi, Beth and Joe. Chat PPL. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, babe. How are you doing? Opera baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So he's singing a little bit. It's good to hear you again, Beth and Rebecca. We were watching you the other night. Yeah, she felt it a cat. I watched your video. Yeah. Happy Rebecca. So we're 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 adding a little bit more to this uh, penguin over here. Uh oh, you got space. Yep. Yep. Got to fill those spaces in. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It's going to be a fishing pole, ladies. I can tell. A fishing pole. Hey, you did real good on that. You didn't even have to use a straight edge or anything. I'm ashamed to say that I, as long as we've been down here, I think we've only, I don't think I've been fishing. Yeah, I have maybe five times. With, with your friend. Yeah. Never taken me. Well, I haven't went by myself. You wouldn't be by yourself if you had me. <laughs> I'd, that's not fair. I've I went with him because he needs somebody to help him put in his boat. Put the boat in. <laughs> I'm sure that's the only reason why I got to go. He was he, he was handy to have around. Yeah, he, he always bragged on me. He says, "Man, you you can back a trailer better than anybody I know." He says, "I'll let you be my my trailer man." Yeah. Oh, okay. I said, "I can I can take it off or put it on the the trailer too." I said, "I was born around the trailer." And the uh, fishing boat. Yeah, my dad had he was a he was a fisherman and a little bit of a camperman, camper guy. I got these little wild hairs on this brush that's going to get trimmed. They're driving me nuts. They're messing me up. Yeah. He got him a little sardine. <laughs> He's fishing for sardines. 
Now, now the Monster Quest guy, he he had a a bobber on it that had a popper on it, and he throw that little thing in them real deep holes and pop it once or twice. And man, I tell you what, them fish would jump like a big and and he that's this one he tried to catch several times and he he just could not catch it and he had enough hooks on that little bobber to catch it though. okay but that fish had bigger teeth than what he had oh my gosh that thing was like a had bigger teeth than piranha piranha teeth are they're not sharp like a cat but this uh oh yes they are sharp well, they're, they're, they're razor sharp. Yeah, they're razor sharp, but they're flat across the top. Like uh, no, they're not. They're pointy. Are they pointy? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, the ones I always seen had little ridges on them, and they were okay. Point. Not I'm point. done now. My dad's fishing. Oh, lures he probably made awesome. it. Did he make them? He made his own fishing oh, lures. Yeah. Yeah, I used to. I used to work for a, a gentleman that made his own fishing lures too, and. It was an art, let me tell you. Yeah. They were fly fishermen. Yeah, he was a fly fisherman and he he was a catch and release guy. And oh listen, he had suitcases for his fishing poles. So when he went fishing up north, they traveled with them like luggage, the fishing poles did. Yeah. Yes, wow. ma'am. Hi Samantha, how are you doing, hi? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Samantha. Hi, everybody coming in. Did I miss anybody? Yeah. We're getting ready to do a collage. Who wants to do a collage with me? Every, uh, an ultra collage. Ultra reverse collage. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do one page and you do, you do one page. All right. No, wait a minute. I ain't finished yet. <laughs> You ain't got the whole story yet. Oh, man. He's always got something. You do, what kind of clogs are you going to do? A funny one. Well, you do a funny one, and I'm going to do a collage. Pizza. You can help me. Oh, you're going to do a pizza? <laughs> okay, you can pick the pizza. I'll do a collage pizza. Let's all do the collage. Yeah. Okay, here's what I've done. I'm getting ready to shut the book, and I'm going to have to... Shut it. I put some paper down because he's going to. Uh, I don't want to paint on the other page. So anyway, this is what we're going to do. So so I did that. So we're going to leave the penguin. Okay, now you guys remember, I've got this in the white book. <laughs> I should find the uh, the owl one around here somewhere. I'm looking for it. The owl? <laughs> the rolling owl. Oh. So, anyway, let's pick up the page, and we're going to do the reverse collage. Wow, isn't that beautiful? Isn't he awesome? He is, he is a man. He's just got a man's mustache. <laughs> I think... Those are painted on. Oh. I really do. No. That is. Yeah, that's. That's. Beautiful. They're awful pretty. He is such a beautiful animal. Let's see. Updating phono. Be right back. Okay. There's a. Um, a glacier. Well. That's a chunk of ice. Eh? Here's a mountain. Uh, mm. Some. And this looks like a painting as well. Yeah, that's there, now this is real ice and it's this is the way it that's melts. Yeah, yeah, this is a picture. This is real. And this is real. And this is real. Ooh, that's beautiful too. Well, the Lord has blessed us with all the beautiful things. I want to do a silhouette going. over here. That looks like cool. a little parakeet or something. It's a little puffin bird. Puffin bird. Yep. Look at this little Look bird. At it. Look oh at this my. little bird. It, I beautiful? think he is just the Gorgeous. chocolate chocolate brown. Oh it's gosh. just like velvet. Yes. 
And where does the puffin bird live? In the Arctic. This is the Arctic. This is oh, there's okay. a bird, okay. another bird. Mm-hmm. I got lots of birds. This is a whale's tail. Sure is. <laughs> yes, Mary. He is. He's he's the great master. Yes, he is. Got this guy. Look at that. Wow. Oh my. I'm no I'm gonna spill this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend up spilling it. Let's move it over here. That <laughs> that bear reminds me of somebody I know. Nora. That Nora. My dog can lay on the bed just like that. I spilt water in my book yesterday. Oh. And and so it's been blessed. It's been baptized. Oh it's, uh -oh, been baptized. She is. it's been baptized. It's been baptized. She can lay like that in the bed and not even. <laughs> oh, she sleeps on her back. Yeah. Yeah. And not even. And be, be so peaceful, nice, and beautiful. And if you turn the wrong way, she is up like a like a scared cat going looking for her mouse or something. So I got this, and I got some. I got some animals. I got an apple. I got a dog. I got a truck, and I've got a chair, and I've got a little uh, um, and not gnomes drone. I got a little drone. That's a drone. And I got some birds. They're they're native in South America, and I got a sheep. And I got a ram. And then I've got this. I got this. Um, I thought that would be cute to put up here. And we could put something on here like uh, fish, F I S H, <laughs> or feed me. <laughs> and put this little, like he's, it's, a, it's one of those uh, message bubbles. Yeah. And then I have a spoon. I don't know if I want to use it or not. But it's a can, rubber spoon. No, it's a silver spoon. Oh. And I uh, don't know, but I got some pyramids. Okay. Got a couple of ladies. They might want to come over and say hi. I've got Get Inspired. Be Inspired. Get Inspired. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. And um, I could change it to that. No. And I also have some, I got a watch. And oh. I wondered if I could cut that out. And put it around his neck. <laughs> oh my. And I got another little chair. And then I got some girls. And we could take these girls and cut them out. And they could be climbing all over him. A speech oh. bubble. Thank you. So um, I don't know if this if this is a. Too, no. Long enough. But yeah. we, can, we can make it long enough. Make, you don't have two. Pages like that, and you can put a big one around his neck, all the way around. That well, way. I can, I can add on. Yeah. Uh, like this, I can add on a little bit. So, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Just, just uh, checking it out. Yeah. Yeah. Then what? And then what? Uh, big speech bubble. <laughs> so you sister. can decide which one Clean we want to put on. And I can, I've got some brown paint. I could put some paint on the ends of it. Yeah. If we want to put a watch on his neck or a decoration. So anyway, I've, those are just the starters, and and we can add more. I've got other images. So uh, let me see what y'all saying to help me out. Puffins are your daughter's favorite bird. Oh, good, Sherry. They're beautiful, aren't they? They are so beautiful. Okay. Puffins can be seen in Alaska. Yes, I think so. 
I think so. I think they're a northern bird. Uh, they like cold weather. Um, Cheryl said she updated her picture. Oh, there's Cheryl's. All right. Oh, he looks happy. That's cute. He did good, Cheryl. He looks happy. Yeah. And he's got a door back there too. Yes, he does. See, he's got a door with a with a He's igloo. got an igloo back there. That's igloo. good. Igloo. Thank you, Cheryl. Like oh, oh, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Sherry, look what she did. <laughs> she's got a she got a buddy, a playmate buddy. <laughs> oh. That is so cute. Thank you. Cute, cute puppy. <laughs> a cute penguin too. Okay, Sherry uh Cheryl updated hers. Okay. And this was this was Nettie's. Okay, yeah. I think I I think I got them all. Let's see. Oh, this is Mina. Mina. Is Mina. Mina. Mina's. Mm-hmm. Very nice, Mina. Really cute. Oh, right there. Right yeah. there. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, nice Good tie. Job. I like that tie, Mina. It looks great. Yeah. Okay. He's on. He's in the water. And there is mine. Okay. Iceberg. Show this to Joe. Okay. Is this is a iceberg mechanicals. Iceberg mechanicals. Let's see what it is. 33 degrees will blow. I don't know. Is it a little... Um, it's a fr it's an air condition? Like a little portable air conditioner? Air conditioning and heating fan. Okay. Joy Mitchell's Carter says they're all adorable. They are, aren't they? Joy? Okay. That, she wanted you to see that. It's just a picture. Oh, okay. Okay, so now. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What else? Mitsubishi. <laughs> um, yeah, electric. Uh, I, somebody was talking about these, and they uh, they really do pretty good. Because they're not very big. Fourth annual holiday giveaway. Iceberg mechanics. Wow. Air condition and heat. Well, that is cool. That is awesome. Wow, giving it away for free. That is so cool. Miss Mary Berry. River City's creation. That's uh, Deborah. Deborah, yes. I'm uh, I'm collaging around. Who else is going to be collaging with me? Uh oh, Miss Mary Berry, I thought it might. Be. <laughs> well, the thing about with a oh. with a giveaway like that, you have to give them all of your information, and then they sell that information. You have to give your phone number and your email, and then that's how you get junk mail. <laughs> She's thinking it'd be nice for the doghouse. It might be. We might just buy one. If they'd be good, we just might let them in the house. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you know, I know what I could do. They have access to the back porch. Yeah. I don't know why he has to have to have a doghouse. Sorry. Well, because they, <laughs> well, uh, they do like to lay on the back porch on that rug. I know on it. The carpet. I know it. Did you put a piece of carpet in there for him? Did I? Mm -hmm. In in the house? In yeah. The doghouse? Yeah. 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 I stapled it to the floor. I mean. So oh, like, I wouldn't have stapled it. I'd want to jerk it out and shake it every now well, and then. No, that's the bot. That's the floor. It's not, I mean, it, there's, they got a blank, they got their blankie in there and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. And, uh. All right. We've got Get Inspired. Now, I've got some more pictures over here that I can thumb through. So, if you see anything that you want me to use. Well, thank you, Mary. That was a great idea. Yes. Yeah. Me after I finish your penguin. Okay, Joy's going to do this with me. Okay, Joy. I thought you might use it for the doghouse. Yeah, yeah. Well, right now, uh, it's just, you know, it's not hot at all. Yeah. It's, it's, it, today was like 72, and then it's only going to get down to 50 tonight. I've got me a, I got a little, uh, so, couple little fans that come off of the computers and, uh, I could put one of those little fans in the window because that's about the same size as the window, about about five by five, five inches by five inches. And, Maybe uh, she's going to be feeding him. We could put something on a spoon and she can be feeding him. See if I have somebody with their arm out. <laughs> There's a ram. That little uh, cloud there, what would you call it earlier? It's a speech bubble. A speech bubble. Now, with all those little squigglies in there, I think you could take all them out and put Susan or Susie. <laughs> it just looks like, because it reminds me of a Susie. Uh-huh. The, the squirrelies. I can, I can write on top of that with yeah. a black oh, marker. I was just saying. Right. Well, that's, a, that's huge. In the, in the book, in the, compared to this, mm -hmm. yeah. <sighs> caviar. <laughs> sure. You want me to put some caviar on there? I've got some cherries. That's oh, the closest I, thing I got of food I like in cherries. here. We had cherry pie today. Yeah, we had cherry pie today, and we had uh, I ate cherries the other night. Remember? Yes, you did. Those cherries, and I'm going to take the uh, seeds and put them out there in in uh, Nora's Mountain. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Beth. We heard it. I'm just looking <laughs> through these pictures to see if there's anything else that we could put on here. There's some mice. Oh, yep. There you go. And the M. And the M. Put some birds on his back. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. There's the lifeguard. <laughs> he can be the lifeguard. Yeah. I think he don't want to be around that big dog. Yep. Able to rejoice. That is such a pretty phrase. That's her uh, handle. I know it. It's such a pretty phrase, though. All right. Now, let me do a little bit of fussy cutting and see what I can do here. Every time I say, every time I see that, uh, 
That reminds me of my daughter, Joyce. Or, She finished it. Oh, so that was no, that was uh, Joyce. Okay. Carter. So we got a turkey over there. Turkey. We got a couple of little mice. We could put some mice in here. Well, that's a pheasant. It's not a oh, turkey. Oh, okay. That's a pheasant. Well, thing. thank you, Joe. Well, I'm good for something. I'm glad you're here. Cutting the tail on the mouth. <laughs> and then I got a I've got a heron. Now these blue herons, we have them wild down here. They they're in our yard. <laughs> Who, who was talking about the, the dog house? Miss uh, Mary Berry? Yeah. Hey, Miss Mary Berry, I'm, well, you know, I, I'm just sitting here thinking about the dog house out there. I, I'm going to take and um, get uh, that, get some of that pipe that's uh, the four, four inch pipe, white pipe, you know, for drains and stuff. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put it on the front of the they got a, a front porch and a back porch kind of like and i'm gonna put them a, a gutter in make made out of that uh, pipe <laughs> it's it's about as uh realistic as you can get because it's got it's got the uh, drip edge and everything around the the, the roof, roof. Mm -hmm. And the roof's got the shingles. Roof. Yeah. Uh, actually, I didn't put shingles on it because it's too heavy as it is, and it's going to be hard to move. But uh, I'm not, it doesn't really need anything because it's got a coating on it, and it's got plywood with that's been painted like four times. And uh, oh, I can do better than that. I'm not doing that. I can do better. Let me just show you what I can do. Oh. You're going to cut out and then <laughs> you're going to We're going to cut them out and put cut We're going to Yeah, we're not going to do that. That's that's not good. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. Will you go in that get me the tins unit? Uh-huh. Please. Yes, ma'am. We're going to put some cherries on top. Life is a bowl Rick, of cherries. Rick kind of hurt his back out there today. Oh, he's got Jim a bad back. Uh -uh, he's got a bad back anyway. Well, I know, but he was getting up and he hit up underneath the, the So, house. is yeah. three cherries enough? Well, four would make a, a good bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a backache too, I tell you. I, uh, last, last, well, earlier this week, I guess it was earlier this week, I was getting some, something out of the freezer, and, um, Joe had an, an, a big ice cream bucket in the freezer full of ice. And it didn't have a lid on it. And it slipped out and fell on the floor. So ice went everywhere. And we have those uh, floating floors with the wood look. And you can't leave water on it or it, it bubbles, the, 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 the planks. Yeah. And um, it, the, same, the same as before around this shoulder blade over okay. here. And um, so anyway, I had to pick the, the ice up. I had, I had to get it off. Because, uh, you know, it would be in the floor. And so I bent down. I got down on the floor. But then I couldn't get back up. 
<laughs> so, <clears throat> needless to say, I'm a little bit overweight, and um, I used my arms on the countertop to to get up. You know, I got up on my knees, and then to raise up any higher, I had to use my arms on the countertop, and I sort of sprained my left shoulder. <laughs> sort of and so anyway we've been putting the tens unit on it and the muscle rub and all kinds of stuff on it to to try to get it to feel better yeah and uh yeah yep yeah. that's what happens when you when you uh get down and can't get back up <laughs> so anyway i've got this inspired over here and she's going to be kind of standing on the inspired sign and then I've got this spoon and it's going to go under her arm arm here maybe <laughs> and she's going to be holding the spoon and uh, I'll have it right here and then I'll have some cherries in the spoon like that and she's going to be feeding him a little bowl of cherries. So I like that. And I like the speech bubble. <laughs> oh, I will, Susan. I, I almost uh, went to the chiropractor this week um, because I think it just needs adjusted. Uh, I really do. I used to... I used to work in a chiropractor's office, so I understand a little bit about adjustments and, and uh, chiropractic care. And I, th I really do think that that's what I needed uh, is uh, to be adjusted. And But my insurance, uh, I don't have insurance for chiropractic care, so I would have to pay for it. And it was, um, it was going to be $100 for the first visit. For the exam and 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 if they do an X-ray, which is quite, it's it's safer to do an X-ray, and I totally understand that theory. I know I know why they do want to do an X-ray, but seeing as I didn't fall, I know I did not fall, uh, and it was it was I know how I you know sprained it getting up, and um, he could be standing on his ear. And I'm going to try to make this color. I can paint this brown and, and all around here brown. And uh, so anyway, I knew and, and I did get to chat with um, a gentleman on the phone. And um, on uh, Facebook. And he said, yes, it sounds like you need an adjustment, you know, make an appointment, you know, at your convenience. And he told me the hours and everything that they were open. But I, <coughs> I miraculously felt better the next morning. And because Joe's been working on my back and he's been doing it for me. <coughs> and uh, it's a sprain strain. Sprain strain. It's a sprain strained muscle. <laughs> right there. A little down. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm -hmm. Right there. So anyway, we have this little TENS unit. Uh, Dr. Ho. Dr. Ho-Ho. Dr. Ho-Ho on uh, TV. And Joe bought one of his TENS unit a long time ago. So we've been using it this week. <laughs> yeah. And I do, I do take a little Tylenol for it. So for the over-the-counter pain. Yeah. And if it don't work, I've got some bigger... Extension cords I want to use. <laughs> but, but he's going to put me to the electric chair. No. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue these little things down that I already had, that I know that I like, that are a hit. Now okay, this, that's enough. See, that's. A, I know it's low. Yeah. That's fine. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but I haven't had it on all day, so I've been really good today. Yeah. I haven't had any treatment. Still so, on. yeah. Okay. So, anyway, Joe's been taking care of me. Oh, 
the only bad part about it is, and I, I, I enjoy doing it because he can rub my back out really good. And and sometimes if you if you spread your hands in both directions on the spine, you he can actually adjust me in a in a gentle way, and it spreads that lengthens the muscles so that my back will, will go back into normal position. And uh, I think he has uh, relaxed those those muscles to almost do that. So we're we're getting there. We're we're in much yeah. better shape than we were. And I'm able to sit here in this chair without any problem on the stool. I'm sitting on a stool. Hey, did I get you the right size stool? Then you want a stool? Uh, is that, did I ever take care of that? Just speaking of stools. Um, I was wanting another stool for in here, for in here. Uh -huh. uh, but I don't need it right away. Okay. It's something similar to this, right? Uh, yeah, and then you we cut this one down, remember? We cut it to make it this Size. Because if I have a, I have a, a card table over here, and uh, and but if I would ever get it emptied, ha 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 ha, I can put, I could sit at the card table and work. Um, mm -hmm. But um, right now I don't, I don't have the room for it. So he was going, I was going to ask for another stool. Uh, uh, to so I wouldn't have to pick this one up and use it. I could and I could have more than one person in here. Yeah. Yes, I have been in the hot tub. We got a hot tub. Yeah. Yes. And um, and it's just amazing. Um, it's just amazing. Everything's you know real good. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put this drone up here too. I think I'm gonna let him fly around up here. And uh, I like the doggy. I'm gonna put the doggy in, and I like his collar, his watch collar. <laughs> and I do have some paint to extend the straps already in my tray. Sweet. So I can do that. Yeah. And I don't know where we're gonna put this filler. But I'm going to put the doggy in. He's he's over here riding along on his back. And I got the sheep on his ear. We'll put the sheep the sheep up here on his ear. He's whispering. He's yeah. waiting. He's yeah, he's whispering and says, "They're going to take my hair. They're going to shave me and use my wool. They're going to use my wool." Yeah. And then yeah. I'm going to grow a new coat for next year. Oh, grow God. a brand new coat. Yeah, buddy. Going to use his wool. Okay. Then, did we decide what we want to put in the speech bubble? I'm not sure. Free cherries. Oh, boy. Free cherries. <laughs> oh, boy. Free cherries. Lambs and tigers. No, lambs and cherries and bears. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That bird's getting ready to fly off. Yeah. He's up there flapping his wings. You want the yarn, Susan? <laughs> yeah, Susan needs yarn. If anybody in the chat room, there's 30 of y'all in here. If anybody has any free yarn that they would like to donate, Susan Ernest is in need of some yarn so that she can make um, blankets, hats, and gloves for the homeless. So she is in need of yarn. She needs the yarn so that she can finish her her uh, mission. So if anybody has any extra yarn that they would like to donate for the calls, uh, you can contact Susan Ernest, and she's in my Facebook group address. 
And you can message her as well. So, how's it look, guys? Okay, did we did you all want to tell me something to put in the um, in the speech bubble? Can you come up with a color concoction close to that speech bubble in like Yes, I can. I know you can. It's almost an orange, isn't it? It is. It's a. It's an orange. It's a like a burn orange. The, yeah. Burn it orange. gonna be so cute with his arm around somebody but I don't know who <laughs> I don't have any place to put him he needs to go on this side of somebody so I'm gonna save him I'm Wait not gonna destroy See, him will he fit on that bird the other bird no, not. no he He's, needs to be tucked down behind yeah. hugging him on tuck, like if he was his yeah. arm was this way he could be behind this guy hugging on him so we'll see. We'll, yeah. we'll not destroy him. We'll we'll save him. He's he's he got good. He's got good structure. Mhm. Mm got good bones. <laughs> okay. Susan says she loves your sheep. Off the sheep. I know. Luckily, luckily, I have been blessed with high pain tolerance. Good cherry. Um, I do too, sort of. I think I do. I meant off of your sheet on the page. Did I receive some already? I did receive some yarn already. Okay. Okay. Uh, I go through a lot every day. Yes. 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 Feed me. Feed me, Seymour. <laughs> okay, guys. Off I go. Okay, Joycey. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, honey. Take care. Probably her dinner time. See you later. Bye-bye. She lives in Washington. Washington. I've got two or three people in Washington now that I know. That's interesting. I've got, I've got a couple in Oregon as well and a couple in California. Sure do. Yes, there's yarn on eBay. Uh huh. But she was wanting it donated, Cheryl. She needs it. She needs it uh, donated. Let's see. So, what do you want? Feed me, feed, feed me, see more. Okay, let's see what we got here. Just see here what we got. What I can pull out of the hat. I've got lots of hats. I wear lots of hats.
Okay. Hey, my phone hasn't rang all day. Mine has it. Yeah, mine did. I answered it and they hung up on me. It was a USA call. Oh, no. Somebody called today about solar heat. And I said, oh, we already God. have solar heat. Thank you very much for calling. And hung up. Yeah. He's, you know who else he called? Rick. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I said, oh, we already have, and we do, we have solar heating on our pool. So I did not lie to the guy. We've already got solar heat. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. No, I didn't say that. But I did hang up. All right. I never did find the other half to this. You don't see a little black square thing on the floor, do you? Nope. It would be under my stool somewhere if I had lost it. Oh, here it is. I found stuck, the pink one. Let's see. Stuck to it. How does this work? Oh, I didn't know they stuck to them without the lids. Oh, found it. So you only need one lid to do them all. <laughs> I can, I could, I could pack them up on top of each other without the lids if I wanted to. But anyway, that's what so, happened. I did. Think, did I, I, I miss it. all these people today? No, it What's says it? there's a time uh, unknown at four thirty yesterday. Janelle called, oh, okay. and then looks like Tim called too. Did you, did you call you too yesterday? Oh no. Well, look, let me hold it back up again. There's no voicemails. Okay. No voicemails. But you can call. Yeah, that's why I didn't get it. Glasses here. So I'm just inking the edges of this. And I'm going to put to Feed Me Seymour. I don't know what Feed Me Seymour means. <laughs> Oh, I don't care, Joy. No, Joy. Who's Seymour? Is it a is it a family joke or something? I like it. Hi, Barbara. Okay. Nobody else is telling me anything to write down. It's from the little shop of horrors. Okay. All right. That's all I needed to hear. They've, they've been fed. Okay. Okay, there's what it's going to look like. Who's me fluffing that little bunny rabbit? Poor bunny rabbit. And then I've got to put some uh, some dots. Uh, 
Okay, I like that. That's good enough for me. Okay. He had to feed the fly trap plant there. <laughs> okay. No, I've never seen it. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to make some some circles. And I guess, I think I'm going to try to do it from here or from here maybe. I think that's good. I can color them in. Okay, there. So, alrighty. Now, um, is there anything else that you can think of? I've got everything glued down. I think it looks pretty good. The bear takes up a lot. Oh, I was going to do a little brown here. I've got the, uh, I've got a little bit of paint left over, right there, for the brown. <laughs> well, too late. <laughs> it's far enough away. I mean, she's got she's got the cherries over here. Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> All right, we got his watch on. He's wearing his watch. It's dinner time. Mm-hmm. And then you add a little bit more brown on this part, and it looks like it's one. It blends in. Okay, I'm happy with that. Very nice. Okay. All righty. So there's the paint and I do have a silver as soon as that paint dries I'm going to put another buckle on his watch a, a buckle for the uh, the bear buckle I could put a cherry in his mouth.
I made the buckle go the wrong way. But I still have more brown paint. I can fix it. Send him to the jewelry shop to repair his buckle. Another cherry. Oh yeah, he looks good on him. That'll look good on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting the bling out, guys. Using the bling. A little bit of bling. Oh, yeah. Looks better. Okay, Cheryl posted me a picture. Okay. Thank you, dear. So the dog's got a collar. The bear's eating a cherry. And fix the buckle on the the uh, the watch. And it goes this way. Something like that. Okay, so we've got a buckle. Anything else that y'all can think of? I think he looks pretty cute. And it's only 848. Um, find my group. Here we go. Oh, dog to the rescue. Oh, <laughs> there's a, there's a Geico commercial. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> I'll have to look for it. Esther Thompson, 
Thompson uh, made some Valentine ACTs. If anybody would like to trade ACTs, Esther Esther uh, is uh, made some Valentine cards. We could make a Valentine tonight for Esther. That would be fun. That would be fun. We could do that with our spare time. Because I think I'm done with him. I don't really see. I don't really think of anything else. So. Uh, I'm going to date it. Okay. I can still do some doodling. Um, it, it does need something. Like more doodling or something. What you doing, Nora? She's being a good girl. Okay. So, uh, Gonna have to wait on my collage. I put glitter <laughs> paste on my igloo. I know I had to put wax paper down on mine because I put peaks of um, of um, the gesso on his on his chest, and I I dried them as much as much as I could, but there, I had to smash them a little bit. But uh, I put some wax paper down. It, it'll be all right. Okay. Um, thought about I would maybe try to put some color in his eye. Okay, so, um, nobody says anything else. Okay. Okay, Susan's going to make an ACT with me, and we'll send him to to Esther. She's in our group. Anybody else want to trade with Esther? She's got seven or eight cards. I think my page looks cute. I think it looks cute, cute, cute. Take a picture of it. And I'll go ahead and post it.
post and we'll do that one first so he's on there okay I think he looks cute he looks like he's eating a cherry all right so let me put another piece of wax paper down I did date it. I dated it, did it. Now, let's see. Um, an ACT card. Let's see what we can use. We could use some playing cards. I'll make four. And we can find some pink paper. Or red. There's some pink, a pink napkin. napkin somebody sent me I could use it and I can use some of these girls these are small enough girls to go on my card and there's one in pink so let me cut a couple of these girls and I have some words I've got some words that I can use what I do with them they were right here Oh, here's some more paper. Oh, and look at some little tiny flowers. Oh, look. Oh, look. <laughs> we got enough to do. We got enough to do four cards. Woohoo! Look at this. Perfect. We got this girl. I need four. You go, girl. You go, girls. We're taking these girls. All right. Let's see now these words. Let's see what we got on here. Friendship, love. We got. We can do those two words for sure. For sure. We've got uh, unity, conciliation, concur, natural orders, past minute treaty, union. I like these two. I like these two. We got affection. There's another friendship. We could put affection. And there's another friendship. We can do friendship again because we're going to be going to different people. Friendship. Uh, I'm going to do it two and a half by three and a half, which is like a playing card. 
like a deck of cards. And uh, I'll measure my playing card again. Uh, but it's... Um, Two and a half by three and a half. That's ATT size. And a more. We got a more. That's same as love. So I got, I've got four words, four flowers, four girls, and some napkin. It's kind of easy when you mass produce. <laughs> Because uh, you can get you can get them done, you know, you can get four of them done faster than doing one at a time. I think in the long run. So there's one girl. I guess I could have put boys, girls and boys on here. But we'll do power women. These are power women. Okay, there's two women. Okay, anybody else want to do an ACT trade? Hi, Ashley. Hadn't seen you in a month of Sundays, girly. Hi, sweetie. Welcome, honey. Um, Susan's making a, uh, an ACT, and Esther's making an ACT, and then I'll have two more. If anybody else wants to make an ACT, a, a Valentine. ACT. Yes, it's a baseball card size. Exactly, Mary. Um, and we still have time. Uh, I can hang on to them because it's not um, it's not even February yet. We still got one more day. Today's the 30th. Today's the 30th. One more day. There's three girls. Hi, Joan. Hi, dear. I forgot all about my coffee. I got it sitting on a warmer, but there's a lip on this, and it doesn't get to the coffee. <laughs> oh, well. Need to pour it in a cup. Oh, I don't care about the picture being in the group, Cheryl. I think it's cute. I like dogs. I don't think it means anything. You can poke that. It can stay in the picture. Can stay. <clears throat> Maybe it'll inspire somebody. Oh, 
Alrighty, I'm going to get these legs cut out. She's got legs. And there's my fourth girl. Four girls. <laughs> and we're going to decorate the cards. And I thought I would put some put some collar down on it first. We're making a couple ACT cards if anybody just came in. Just goofing off. That'll work for that one. There's one for that one. Putting some, this is just construction paper. And I'm going to leave the red on the back of the cards showing. Sherry says, I'll make two, Beth. Okay, Sherry. Send one to Esther and one to me. Sherry, if you make three, maybe maybe uh, Susan will send one to you. How many are you going to make, Susan? Let's ask her. One Esther gets one. I better tell her we're making them. <laughs> I better tell him. Two comments. Uh-oh. Let's see who else is trading with her. Okay. Nobody's trading yet. Okay. So I'm going to make a comment and say, Esther. We want to trade. <laughs> I said, we're online on YouTube. We want to trade. <laughs> oh, you owe other people. Okay, Susan. Okay, Susan. So you just want to trade. Will you trade with Esther?
Of course. Yes, and you, Beth. Okay, Susan. So we, we got Susan taken care of. I'll tell Esther to send her one of her cards to you. And then um, Sherry is going to make... <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Uh, Sherry Vane wants one, Susan. If that's okay. That's, it'd be, that's the four of us. Of course, you know me. I get confused so easily. Terrible. I did do an art card trade with um, Dee Dee Willingham last week, and uh, and she got them and showed showed my art card on her Wednesday uh, show this last week. If you like, if you ever watch uh, Dee Dee Willingham, hi Mary, we're trading uh, Valentine cards. <laughs> we're making ACT cards. So I've got one for Esther. I'm going to put her name on the back of it. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. <laughs> well, somebody requested uh, an ACT, and uh, so there's three, four of us, there's four of us trading. Mary. <laughs> uh, Esther Thomas, Susan Ernest, and Sherry Van. <laughs> I am. Well, it just was a spur of the moment, and I've got a few minutes to play with. And, and uh, I saw the post on my, I wasn't my idea. <laughs> Cheryl has an idea, has an idea, yeah. Cheryl's got an idea. So anyway, on this side of the red card, I'm going to do a little, um, I can do, I've got this, and I've also got this, and I think it's going to be this one. Somebody sent me this one for Christmas, and I love the flowers on it, and they look good on here. Oh, the swelt party. Yeah, I've already got that one. Well, I I haven't gotten it in the mail, but it's addressed. <laughs> My, uh, I've got the addresses stamped. I've just got to get them over here and lick them. Yep, the light bulb turned on. <laughs> Did it turn off or turn on? She might have blowed the bulb. She's so uh, full of energy. Electric. She's electric. <laughs> so here, what I think I'll do, I've got four cards. And, oh, I've got this pretty corner. Yeah. And I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to take my uh, paintbrush and I'm going to go around these flowers in a scalloped manner and that 
water will tear that corner in a scalloped manner. Did you see that? And this does have an extra napkin on the back that I need to get off. And it's real easy to get off. Uh, two layers. Uh, the back will glue down and the top won't. And it will come off later. So it's better to take the back off first. So what I'm going to do with this flower is put it on like that on this card. That will be so pretty. And put it on this way. Very nice. So, excuse me. I've got four corners I can do this with. <laughs> Esther is in uh, on my Facebook page. She's in our group. And I just messaged her to come on um, to come see us. But she's in our group. And she says, who wants to trade? She's got seven cards. Uh, and she asked, who would like to play? So anyway, I'm going to take my um, uh, napkin and see if I can go ahead and take the back off of it. And I use this for cleanups. And now I can go and ask, get these off, these corners. So I take a wet brush again and I go around the flowers in a scalloped manner. And then it tears apart from the napkin like that. And it makes a pretty design on the card. And I think it's going to go like that. And this one's going to go like that. Love it. So I need two more. <clears throat> this has turned out really good. So here is, uh, here's this one. So that one will go on like that. And one more. So, everybody still on the wagon with me? This one will be a little different. I want to go there and I'll save this for another time. <laughs> How's that? Aren't they starting to look good? And I still got my little girls and my words to put on. And I've got these little tiny white flowers. And I'm going to start off with this. So anyway, I like to use my um, fan brush. <laughs> Susan's sick, sick of knitting for a little bit. Well, take a break, girl. Take a break. Let's take a break. You can take a break with me. So anyway, here's my fan brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. To this card and then I'm going to lay this napkin right down and I don't mind the edge 
showing a little bit of red. The border looks nice. And just feather that down real lightly. Because it is delicate, it will tear. So you can't paint over it too much. So another little bit of glue here. And I'm going to put this down right on the border, leave a little trim, feather that down real easy. And um, then I can take and trim, trim this little bit off here. I don't need that. Just using a little napkin. You could do the same thing if you had some uh, some kind of flowers out of a magazine. You can do the same th situation. Just fussy cut a little bit out of your flowers. Make a new image out of it. Make it look like a butterfly or something. Or a heart. A heart of flowers. Yeah. Lots of ways you can decorate your cards. And then this one's going to go right there. Little border shows. Feather that one down. And boom. There we go. So the next step is uh, I've got a word. And I've got a girl. And it's kind of like a little collage. It is. It's kind of like a little collage. There's three elements on there. Isn't that look cute? Hey, Cheryl, everybody wants to know your idea, girl. <laughs> you got everybody's curiosity up. They're listening. Thanks, everybody, for for uh, chiming in. I know you're there now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, there's two. <clears throat> okay. Now on this one, I'm going to put this little girl. <coughs> and she's going for the love. She's got the love. 
And now after this glue dries, I'm going to be using my um, <clears throat> my gloss varnish over top of everything. But I'm going to let my hot my Elmer's glue dry first because uh, I want to I want to make them hard on you know kind of hard on top. And this little girl here. She's going down right there. And she's got the Amour. And I do have a little flower. I don't even know if I need it. But let me look just a moment. Just one moment, please. Let me get my buttons out. This is what makes it so sentimental. <clears throat> is when you can do something to your card. And it takes a lot of time to do, <laughs> to do it. You're spending um, quality time with your art on your card. And then when you give it to someone... They know that you spent some time doing this. You know what I mean? And um, you all can help me. I do have, these are buttons. And I'm not sure what will look good. But I have some, um, some different types of buttons here. And... Uh, Maybe you can help me which ones to put on. I don't particularly want to put a rabbit. That's Save that for Easter. But uh, I've got cats and dogs and butterflies. And here's another butterfly. And a kitty cat. These little colorful ones, I think, are cute. Little bird. I think it looks pretty good. Just put those on there. All right, I picked out a button. Let me show them to you. So I'll, I'll be putting a button on there, and I could, under the button, put this little flower. Nah, I don't like that little flower on there. The flower's too white. So, I'm definitely going to put the button. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, Tammy posted her gnome. Gnomes. Okay. Written chat. She doesn't know how to explain. <laughs> Cheryl can't tell me her good idea. <laughs> I'm going to tell Esther. Beth. Schuler. We'll trade. And I'm going to put Sherry Van.
it's in in I think we'll trade and Susan Ernest will trade So I, I put all three of our names under Esther's um, ACTs because she's getting some other people who are interested. So uh, that's good. Let's see. Uh oh this is from heather hi heather by the way oh no tammy oh uh, who said they had the the gnomes i think it was heather no oh shoot tammy wolf posted gnomes so this is tammy not T babbling book brooks is tammy i have a hard time remembering everybody's second names but aren't those the cutest little gnomes you've ever seen thank you so much tammy for sharing thank you i love them The gnomes is a is a stamp and the heart is a die cut. Well, looky there. How cute is that? Very nice. Thank you for sharing that. So what I'm going to do is these are buttons. So I'm going to put some um, thread. And make a bow in the buttons. Because you know that I like to do that. That's why I was talking about it. It's so fun to um, go that little extra mile in decorating your um, art project. And that way you are showing extra love to your recipient. And you, you so I'm going to go in the top of the buttonhole and back th up through the buttonhole because I'm not going to actually sew it on the card. I'm just tying the bow on the, the button itself. And I've got enough thread there. I'm going to tie a, tie a bow just like I'm tying a shoe. And I have to I have to uh, make it big enough for my fingers and then I can tighten it up and make it a small dainty bow here. So I'll make it smaller and smaller like that. And then I can glue this down on the card and snip the the long ends off because I don't need them that long, right? And then I'm going to put a little tiny dot of glue to glue it down on the back and also to glue that uh, the thread on top. That'll dry clear. So that it doesn't accidentally come untied. And I'm going to glue the button down on the card. And I just used Elmer's glue. Uh, tacky glue might do better. I've got some tacky glue. If that one doesn't stick very good. But it seems like it's sticking. So I'm going to let it dry. And I've got that one done. With the button anyway. 
I can still going to add some more things. I just haven't decided what yet. <laughs> So I've got to go down the top of the button and then back up from the back. These are just two holes, buttons. And then I've got enough thread on there to tie a bow. Just like your tiny bow on your shoe. And I've got enough. And then I, I pull it tight and then I, I pull the opposite strings to make the bow tight, tiny, and dainty like that. So I can trim that one off. This is just embroidery thread. And I'm going to put a little bit of tacky glue on the back. And just a touch on the knot. On that knot so that it doesn't accidentally come untied and I can lay this button down and I got two of them done then I can think about what else I want to do to them can you all think of anything else that I can do to these guys Oh, Susan got a set of new set of, of needles. Yeah. What's your channel right now? It's my name. And what's after that? Nothing. Just this On YouTube. It's a picture of me and Abby. You can't miss it. He's talking to his sister. And he's trying to get her to go online to watch me. <laughs> all right so anyway if you have embroidery thread i tell this all the time uh and you, you know it's like what five or six pieces of thread on it put a little glue on the end of it and twist it into a point and then that's like a little needle and that'll go into your buttons and you don't have any problem threading your your uh, embroidery thread to your button Just thought I'd share that with you again in case somebody missed it, <laughs> in case you forgot. But it just makes it so cute and easy, and I can I can um, thread these buttons real fast and so uh, and put a little bow on the button. And I just think it looks really cute and dainty to do that. So there's this little butterfly tie bow. And then I'm going to pull the ends to make the bow a little smaller. Dainty. So I can take my tacky glue, trim the ends. And I can put my tacky clue on the back of the wings and in the middle of the bow. And that will dry clear so that the bow doesn't accidentally come undone. And I'm going to put this butterfly right there on this card. And then on this last butterfly, just got to tie the bow.
and then I get to, to pull the bow pull the bow so that it's a little smaller and more daintier like that a little more and then I'm going to snip those long ends off and put some glue on the back of the butterfly and again in the center to hold that bow so that it doesn't accidentally come undone because you know how it is you can untie your shoe easily it's like tying your shoe so there's my four cards so far so far so far so let's see what else i can find i do have some papers but i don't somebody sent me these uh, papers and I haven't got to use them yet but I've got them on my desk they're so cute I don't know I might I don't remember printing them off somebody I think somebody sent them to me one of you girls did so here we got some extra doodads so what else? What else would be cute? Oops, excuse me. On these cards. Anybody got any suggest loving suggestions? They're getting there, but they're not finished. They need something. Hmm. Let's try some of this nail polish I got up here. Maybe it just needs a little bling. This this looks really pretty on on like maybe the edges or a couple of the edges, maybe some of the edges. And I can put a uh, make a little tassel for it. The bows. You like the bows? Okay, let me look at that. Let's see. Tassels. I'll have to get some more. And you know, if I put tassels on it, well, I'll just have to put maybe a little, one or two little beads. Just like my seed beads. So, that wouldn't be bad, would it? I had to put a little bit of beads on it. That wouldn't be bad. <laughs> that would be good. Along with this and the beads and the tassel, I think that might that might even finish it off. Let's see what color we got here. I think I've got some variegated. I could use some variegated. So, I know you almost have to make a list of all the things that you can put on an ACT card, you know? <laughs> but, you know, I've learned, I've been doing ACT cards for two years now, so I'm kind of getting, you know, I'm getting up there on learn how to do this stuff. Now, I know my paper is red, so do we want red brad? Uh, uh, thing of dingies I think so red looks good I need four red ones so 
So I got four of those. And I'll show you how to put, use this little gadget. This is a, my crocodile. It's a crop a dial, not a crocodile. But when I first got it, I thought it was a crocodile. You know, like a, an alligator. Because I thought it had a big bite, like an alligator. And and uh, and it's a it's an art it's an art tool called a crop c r o p a dial d i a l and um, so I'm very phonic as you all know so anyway I'm going to put a little hole in the top of the each card and that's where my little uh, eyelet is going to go and it can be in the middle or on the side it doesn't have to be dead center or anything like that so some of them are okay after you do that and i have two sizes i have a small one and a large size so you have a hole punch and the hole punch there's a small hole punch and then a larger hole punch so then you use uh and this little thing has uh, different different that you can turn them it's like a cube it's like a, a little dice that comes off and you can turn it to whichever side you want and I've got it set for this size so you take your uh, eyelet and you put it in your hole so I can do that And uh, there's three, and there's four. So then you take and you uh, insert the, there's a little, um, a needle-like stem right here. There's like a stem uh, tip, and that goes into the hole. And then the back side, and then when you squeeze it, it squeezes it onto that little round nub underneath the hole, and it presses it flat on the back. And there your eyelid is in there for good now. So it won't come out. And that's how that works. So you do all four of these. And you do have to have kind of a hard grip to squeeze it. It's not for weak hands. It's harder than a hole punch, but it does work. And it's and you don't have to have it, an eyelet thing. You can just use a regular hole punch and then do and then do your project. You don't have to to have all of this stuff, but I have it, so I'm using it, and that's the only reason uh, why I'm I'm doing it. If I didn't have it, I would just use a regular hole punch and make a hole. And then I would have, I could, I could still do my embroidery thread. And, um, and do it that way. So you don't have to have all this equipment to do this. You just use a regular hole punch. And you don't even have to have a hole puncher to make a hole. You can make a hole with a pencil or with uh, uh, something pointy that you have on your desk. But anyway, I, I have the eyelets. And since I do, I'm going to use them. Now I need, uh, I'm going to make four tassels or little hangers. And uh, let's see what I can come up with. I thought this thread was variegated. Well, it is variegated. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to um, take this much of my thread, trim it, and I'm going to fold this so that I can have... Four. I'm going to make it into four. 
So there's one, two, three. Can I do four? Not quite long enough. So let me do it this way. So if I fold this in half and cut this in half, I just need two more and two more of these. That'll work. So now I've got uh, my tassels and I've got two strands at the same time and I'm going to put them through my, my eyelet hole, push it through. And then I can take and tie. And so now I have four. I divide it in half. So I'm just going to tie a knot in my threads. And I'm going to tie the knot and make it close to the card. So that there will be a tassel at the ends. Like this. And then I'm going to take the, there's a couple of threads that are looped. There's two of them. And I'm going to cut the loops. And it makes a tassel. On the end of my card. And I have a little tassel now. So I'm going to do that on all four of them. You know, you got eyelets and brads. You can use brads. Uh, brads are the ones uh, that have the little button and the two little openings on the, uh, the, the, the flat parts that open up on the back. The brads, you can use brads. You can use beads. You can use any kind of cutout. You can use some sparkly. You can use glitter glue or some nail polish. Now, this one's going to be a little bit longer. That's okay. They can be different. Um, I have sequins. You can use sequins. And you can use tiny flowers. Uh, if you have any silk flowers. Um... I've got these little drawers on my desk that has uh, lots of little doodads in them. <laughs> and um, and I'm going to tie a knot. And push the knot down close to the card so that the tassel is long. And see, I'm going to put some beads on this one. I'm going to put some beads on it. Yeah, the big bite thingy. Okay, you've got a big bite. Uh, but these are like sequins and things like this in here that you can use on your cards. Flat back beads are good. Uh, you know... Uh, pom-poms, you know, uh, I don't know if a pom-pom is needed, <laughs> but you could put a pom-pom on here and, um, and you can take your pom-poms and cut them in half to make them flat back. So here's a pom-pom. I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to put some glue right there and it's going to, I'm not going to sit it down. I'm going to put some glue right there on all of that, half of that pom-pom, and I'm going to glue it down in the middle of that flower right there. I'm not going to touch it because if you touch it, it'll come undone. Same thing with this one. Oh, shoot. 
Come on, Beth. I may not may not get to save this one. So there's a half of a pom pom there, and I glued it down, and it's fuzzy and wuzzy and cute. So I think it's better if you just go ahead and put the glue down first on the pom poms, because the pom poms can be thick, uh, too thick to mail. So if you take and cut it in half, it'll fall apart, of course. But it won't fall apart if you easily cut it and quickly put it on the glue. So I'm not going to try to mess it up. I want to glue it down as fast as I can so that it doesn't lose its fuzziness. You got to hold your mouth right on that. <laughs> on the on the pom pom thing, <laughs> but doesn't that look cute? And the button, and the tassel. So I got one more tassel to go, and then I'm going to fool with my beads. And I'm going to tie a knot and push the knot down close to the card. Work it down to the close to the card. So now I can put some beads and things. And, and see, I've got sequin butterflies. I could put some butterfly, a butterfly on there too, if I wanted to. I think I've got enough on there. Um, but you might have other sequins, a uh, little, the little round sequins and things. Uh, you might have other, other things in your stash that you can use. Look, there's a heart. I can find, I got, I got those hearts I can use. I know I got a bunch of them. So I'll get them out. I got four of them. There's two. There's three. And there's four. I'll put some hearts on there. Since I found them. Since I found them. So you just have to look at your stash and see what you have. You may even have a, a paper clip. Uh, if you have a, a pretty paper clip. I've got these little tiny paper clips. I've got pink ones. And I think I might have some red ones. And you can decorate your paper clip if you don't want to do the tassels and and put a flag on the top of your uh, card that would be cute on your card so you might use a paper clip and it doesn't have to be pink or red you could use a purple one or whatever color that that uh, blends in with your card you know so that would be an option I've even got I've even got uh, clothes pins. You can even put a clothes pin on it. <laughs> clothes pin something on it. Clothes pin a little paper heart on it or something. Glue it on. So, but but again, you gotta you gotta keep them flat as flat as you can. So I have to think about where I want to put my little heart. And I guess I'll put it down here in this corner. On this one. And this one. And right there on that one. And maybe up there on that one. So I'm going to take and glue my little pink hearts sequence down. Like that. So I'm adding more to it. So then I'm done with this. Let me put that over there. And then on my tassels, I'm going to take one of my threads and add just a tiny bit of glue on the end to make, make me a needle. Bling. <laughs> yeah, bling. Just use scissors to make any holes. That's right if you need to. Sure. Uh, writing them down, have the big bite thingy, telling my mind to be quiet, to many ideas flowing out. I'm getting the creative juices flowing. Miss Faith says it's important to bring those kinds of items to have them hand, 
hand stamp the envelopes so that the pieces don't get destroyed in the machine. It's too heavy on the 3D pieces. Yes, yes. Um, when you mail something extra thick, you have to put extra postage on it. And that usually means it's hand delivered. And they, they do know that. And you can write hand, hand, uh, you can put hand machine uh, on the envelope too if you want to, want, if you put it in your mailbox. Yes. Yes, hand stamp and do not bend. That's right, Cheryl. That's right. So anyway, I've got my uh, my embroidery thread here and I put a little bit of glue on the end of my thread. And it's stiff. It's like a little needle now. So I can take a few tiny beads. And I've got pearls. See if I can get a pearl on there. I do. I got a little pearl. I got a pink pearl. And a white bead. That looks good. And I can find another pink bead over here. Another pearl. Uh, darker pink. I just have to find the hole. And I use my thread and I got some glue on it to make it like a needle. And maybe one more, another piece of uh, white bead. And I've got just a few little beads right there. And I want another one. Hey, Joe. <whistles> Joe. What? Shut the door, honey. <sighs> Sorry, guys. He's in there telling a, a naughty. He's got, we've got a neighbor and he got, a, got an argument with her. And so he's telling the story to his sister. But I don't need the whole world to hear that. <laughs> so anyway I've got two or three beads on here and then I'm going to tie a knot so that the beads won't come off and sometimes the beads are not uh, they don't want to agree to your fingers like that one does not want to agree. <laughs> so I'll find another one that might do better. There, that one does. So usually on the last bead, I go ahead and tie a knot around that bead uh, so that none of the rest of the beads will fall off. And then I've still got this pointy end that has the glue on it and it's kind of stiff. So I just trim just, just a little bit. I still leave, I don't cut it all the way up to the bead. And then these beads will fall down and it makes the tassel. And I can trim the other tassels uh, and let them, and just let them lay flat around the, uh, the card. And then what you can also do on top of all of this is I've got some tiny, tiny seed beads. Let's see if I can find them. I've got red ones. Yes, I do. Here they are. I have to pick out the red ones of these beads. Just the red ones. And the maroon ones. And you can take. It takes me a little time to get the beads out. But I don't mind. So I've got a few. I've got a few tiny little beads here. See these little beads. So what I'm going to do is take my. Glue and put it in the center of a flower, maybe or on the corner, and make a dot of glue like that. And then you're going to take these seed beads and drop them in the glue. And it doesn't matter how they lay, let them lay on their sides or on whichever way. And you just made a little cluster of beads 
there in that glue. Make sure they get into the glue. And that's tacky glue, and that will glue down. So look at the little beads. So look at all this on here now. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I've got the tassel on. I'm going to put a little bit of this nail polish on. So I'm just going to just do a little starburst of glitter in this corner and maybe touch that corner a little bit. And this has got glitter in it. So it'll get on there. And then maybe just do a little line in the bottom down here. Just a little, uh, just for interest. Not all over the card. It's just on a couple of spots. And you gotta let it dry. And then this this card, this this ACT card is done. And this is for Esther. <laughs> this is Esther's card. You think she'll like it? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, you know, just go when you're making a doing an ACT card, get like five things out of your stash. Don't get everything. Just get like five different things. And, you know, get if you're doing four cards, get four brads, four buttons, uh, a little bit of yarn, uh, something for the tassel, you know, four sequins and four little pictures and four little words. And boom, you've got a card made before you know it. So, uh, lots and lots of things. And then you, that's not including ribbon and lace and things like that you can do. And rickrack. You could put rickrack on your cards. It would look so cute. So, and fabric. If you don't have the napkin, maybe you have a piece of material that's red. You know, for if you want whatever theme. So, there's lots and lots of things to do. <laughs> So I got one done. So let's see. This one needs some beads and beads and nail polish. I think I'm down to beads, beads, and nail polish. So I'm going to put the nail polish on last because it's uh, wet. So let me get these beads on. On the tassel. And you don't have to do them all exactly the same. You can, you could, you could there do the variety. Do a variety. Clear beads. You got light pink and dark pink, and you've got red and maroon. And this bead would be perfect if I could see the whole. But I'm having trouble with my vision on it. I can't see it. So I'll put it back and find me another bead. <laughs> it's your art, Mary. You can do anything you want with your art. Isn't that awesome? glitter glue and if you don't have glitter you, wet glue you can always use you know the powder glue the, the the sprinkle glue of course got that on there let me get some of these beads I think I just picked this one up a minute ago I think I did. I don't think I, I don't even know if it has a hole in it. And, you know, sometimes beads uh, get through and they don't have a hold, hole in them. I have had that happen or they break. Sometimes the glass beads are broken. I've, I've been playing with beads for quite a while. Uh. 
So I do uh, understand a lot. I've seen a lot. Seen a lot. Done a lot. Let's see. We like pink and red. We could put a red bead on there. A little tiny seed bead. And some more pink ones. Just three or four is all you need. And then on the last bead, I like to tie my knot around the last bead. Because if you tie a knot in the thread, sometimes the knot will go through the hole of the bead. I've had that happen. So it's easier just to go ahead and tie the knot around the bead on the end. And you don't have to worry about it coming off. It's permanent. So now I'm going to take and put a little tiny bit of glue right here and I'm going to add some single beads get some red ones in here red and pink are good white are good I can use those Got some burgundy beads in there. Clear beads are good. A variety. And then I'm going to take and sprinkle these on uh, my flower. And sometimes you just get two or three on there and that's all you need. You don't have to put a whole bunch. You know, you, if the glue dot isn't any bigger than that, then just put that many on there. It doesn't have to be the whole box. Just a few. Now, the, the white glue will dry clear. And there's your ACT card. Now, I'll have to put some... some um, <laughs> have to put some nail polish on it next. Uh huh. Y'all going, uh huh. Y'all taking notes. <laughs> so I'm just going to take and put a little bit of glitter on this corner and maybe a little bit around down this beside the friendship. And this is glitter nail polish. And, uh, just a little dot there. Just a dot or two. And after that dries, it'll be cute. Let me show you the first one I did. You see the nail polish dried? And this, this won't come off. And then here's the tassel. Does that say Happy Valentine's Day or what? It sure does. That's more than enough on that card. I've got... I've got four or five items, I guess. The tassel, the heart sequence, the beads, the pom-pom, and the button on top. That's like, you know, four or five things not including the background you know and i think that's enough so i've got two more to go now this tassel is a little bit short you see but i made this tassel thicker so i'm not going i'm not going to try to put a bead on it because it it'll be, be difficult and i could fuss i could really try real hard to do that but instead i'm just going to go ahead and put uh, a a cluster of beads and I'm going to put them right down here and it's not going to be a big cluster it'll be a little cluster it'll be a little cluster
maybe just four beads. So it's just a tiny cluster. So you don't have to put too much on it. So now I'm going to go take my nail polish and I'm going to put it on here, uh, maybe on the corners of the card. Something like that. Just sporadic. And there's this one. But this one has a different tassel on the end. And the last one, I've got a long, long tail, so I can put some beads on it. Taking a little extra time to add some love on my tassel. Couple little beads. And your seed beads, when you use them like this, they go a long way. They go a real long way. They do. So there's the last one. And I'm I got five beads on there, and I'm gonna tie a knot on the last bead. Trim my glue stick off, and I have a tassel. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glue in this corner and add three or four beads. Okay, there we go, and add a little bit of nail polish on the corners, in the middle down there, and along the side over here. And there's that one. And they're all done. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you all passing out ice cream? Okay. So anyway, there is my four cards. I'm going to be sending one to Esther, one to Susan Ernest, and one to Sherry Van. Okay? Did I miss anything? Let's see, now let's do a recap of what we did tonight. We did a lot. We did a lot. Let's see what we did besides Valentine cards. I clean my desk up a little bit. These can go in the drawer. Okay. So I did those. And we did uh, a couple of things in the, uh, the white book. We did... So... Everybody doing all right now? So let me make a, I guess I could take a picture of my cards. 
I'll put them up here. And I told Esther that that we um, three of us girls were trading with her, so you all can get a hold of Esther's address now in the in the group, okay? And mail her your card. Go ahead and get them done, and she's already got hers ready to go in the mail. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let me get back to my group. So. Oh. Uh, Nettie. Nettie N Munson uh, did the birds. Aren't they cute? She did a good job. Great. Great job, Nettie. She got her birds done. And join... Joy Carter did a devotion from yesterday's stream. We were doing a devotion, Love is Patient, Love is Kind. And here's her devotional page. Isn't that cute? Good job. Good job, Joy. Love it. Love it. And... There's tonight's, okay, I think you've seen everything else. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of these and post it in the group. So, let's see. I might as well post it in, in um, Esther's, under her, her page, find her cards. We saw all of those. Here's her card. Here's mine. One for Esther. And Sherry. And Susan. And uh, oh, I forgot to add the picture. <laughs> Oops. Edit. I can edit. I want to add a picture. How can I add a picture? Well, I don't know. I guess I'll just write another reply. <laughs> another comment I'll put another comment in and I'll go to my camera and get my cards and post them that way there so she's got my cards <laughs> okay <laughs> I got that taken care of so I will go ahead and put these in the envelope to you girls as soon as they dry I'll have to do it tomorrow so that we did those. And let me show you the other pages we did tonight. We did uh, we did paint roll a penguin and he turned out really cute. He's going fishing for some more sardines. <laughs> Be a buddy. Oh, Esther. Hi, Esther. <laughs> Esther, guess what I did? I made you a card. Here's yours. Here's your card, Esther. <laughs> I've got two other girls trading with you. I wrote it on your, your message. I messaged you on Facebook. Uh, it's in your post. <laughs> Tammy's phone's about to die. Totally understand. I'm getting ready to quit, T Tammy. So I'll see you next time, sweetie. I'll see you Tuesday. Yes. 
They they still do. Okay. There's three of us. And then there was another one, uh, Tori. Great. <laughs> you got us in the mood. And so I, I, I made them. <laughs> you got us in the mood. So that was really cute. So we did this tonight. We did the uh, penguin with the uh, the igloo. And then we did a collage. And I have no idea where it is. No idea. It could be back here. It's here. Here it is. And we did this. We did this little bear, this bear, <laughs> this big bear. We collaged on him. So uh, we did good tonight, guys. We got we got two more things in our in our white book done. We did. You'll have to watch the replay. <laughs> We kept we kept adding things in, and he's singing. He's a singing or whistling or something. Yeah, he's carrying a tune. So uh, <laughs> Cheryl's going for the lotion. Good night, Cheryl. I'm leaving too. I'll see you t in the chat room somewhere. Yes, we did. We had a good evening together, didn't we? So, uh, I'm going to have to put tabs on my uh, book <laughs> so I can find all the things that I've done. And I am going to be making this, I'm going to be breaking the spine on this one to make it wider. Because look how fat it's getting. So uh, I'm going to be working in this book, you know, probably for another month. So um, so I'm probably going to go ahead and widen this, this spine tomorrow. That's what I want to do. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I'll be back Tuesday. And we will work in the UK book Tuesday. And we're going to work on some, um, you know, some of these Zentangle things. I like, I enjoy doing this. Just doing the same thing over and over. I'll try to come up with a new picture for Tuesday <laughs> besides a cat. So, uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me and arting with me. I don't like to art alone. You guys mean a whole lot to me. So I will see, I'll say good night and I will see you all again Tuesday and we'll do it again. So thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, girls. Take good, take good care. Good night.